Hey Zell, how's it going? We're doing. It's starting to get a little colder here, so I uh, took the ACs out finally, so no more background noise. <laughs> Hope you're doing good. I'm doing pretty good. Oh, affiliate's a pain in my butt. <laughs> Check out this cool uh, tech raptor. This one's pretty nice. How's it going? Yeah, I keep trying. I, I keep streaming it and seeing, uh, seeing what I can do, but... I found this cool raptor over here. <clears throat> yeah, it's like a level 109, but it's like at night this raptor looks awesome. It's like it glows really cool. This area is like, I don't know, it's just like super pristine. There's like nothing bad here. It's just all these nice dinos. It's like first area where everything's not trying to kill me. <laughs> I was like, is this, am I going to have some easy arc time here or what? <laughs> so they got to build a cool base or something over here. Hopefully. I mean, it's just all cool dinos. Nothing dumb trying to eat me, so. Yeah, I took a little bit of a break from streaming because of the kids doing their remote stuff. We had to try to get on a little schedule and get everything organized, and there's a lot of it that requires me to help because, like, the math and stuff like that is all kind of funky nowadays. They like to teach things backwards. It's like there's an easier way to do this. All right. <clears throat> we got... Looks like a pack of wolves down here, which I figured as much. And there's my RGs, because that's why I'm over here. I want some RGs. <laughs> yeah, I just finally got everything set back up too, because Twitch got all screwed up. So, but I'm still trying to get affiliate. We'll see if I can do it. I just got to stream less, I guess, but. I mean, my setup is about as good as I can get until I can get affiliate and then I can try to get some different tech or something, but when I do my other stream for my instructional stuff for like tabletop RPG and that, I use my new laptop and that seems to be working pretty good, so hopefully I can get it. If I can get it, that'd be great. Then I can... Okay, the wolves see me. Alright. Yep. Raptor. I'm gonna level you up. One click. Alright, pick me up. Alright, Raptor, come on. Do some work here, I'm getting shredded. Back off, wolf. Did they kill the Raptor? They did. Alright, we gotta go. Run. Stupid freaking wolves. I'll lure them out here. They'll chase me. Yeah. I figured. It's a whole pack of wolves. I didn't die. That's all that I care about. That raptor took me about two seconds to tame, so if he didn't make it, he didn't make it, but he had a thousand health. Alright. Revenge is about to happen here. How much gear do I got? I lost a little bit of stuff, but not too much. Alright, move your butt there, Gallimimus. Move your butt. I gotta go after these friggin' wolves. Yeah, there we go. This sucks. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got him. Alright, we can take this guy over in the face. So now this one sucks. Don't you dare kill me. Yeah, back off, loser.
I'm shredded pretty bad, but I needed some cold weather gear, so the only way to do that is to get some fur. I'll go back, I'll kill the rest of them too. That's just the Gallimimus, we're fine. Yeah, I have a hair of life, but it's fine, I'm good. I'm still good. I'm alive. Alright. We're going back in. I'm gonna kill all the wolves. They gotta go. My health will heal back up. Walk it off, you know? Hopefully, Tech Raptor killed three. I killed two down there, and there's two more. That's gotta be the whole pack. We'll cautiously assess the situation. Because <coughs> I want a clean run to those Argies. Because I need an Argy. I need to get airborne. Like, big time. Okay, I have at least half health. I'll be a little more brave here. Alright, we got one lone wolf. Couple of Arge. Arge is fine. One wolf. This is for my raptor, probably, yeah. All the meat. Alright, and now what I gotta do is I gotta drop the meat, because it weighs too much. Drop the trophy, drop the rotten meat, I guess. Er, no, I better keep the rotten meat. I'm gonna need that when I make the narco- Ooh, We gotta go. Argies. As long as they're coming towards the valley here, I'm fine with it. I left the other wolves. Argies will make their way over here. A little more food. Alright. I need to make some trank arrows. Because I have one. I need at least 15. I'll drop an Arge, feed it, and then get airborne so we can get around this whole map. So they're for sure over here. That is a guarantee. So let's go back to base real quick. I made a little mobile base over here, so we don't have to go far. I built this boat. <laughs> this is my mobile base. I don't think I left anything in this. No, I did not. And in these chests, do I have anything? I might have some stuff. Alright, we got a forge. We got some wood. Here's some more of this. I have no smithy. All I need is to make a mortar and pestle. I have some narco berries. Okay, I need... I have the stone and I have the hide. So all I need is narco berries. So let's grab some narco berries real quick. Oh, freaking wolves. I was hoping the tech raptor would have lasted a little longer, but that's alright. I have another raptor back at the other base, so I'm not too worried. It'll be alright. I couldn't fit him on the boat, so I had to leave him at the other base. The other base is super awesome. I ran into a bunch of rexes, and that sucked, so I didn't have much of a choice there, but... I wasted 60 Trank Arrows on trying to drop the Rex. I thought I could get the Rex to go down, but he wasn't having it. He was too... too well fed, I guess you could say. He just wasn't going down. I was like, I don't have 100 Trank Arrows. Sometimes you get lucky and he's really hungry because he has an 8, and he's not as bulky, a little bit lower level, but that was like a level 170 or something like that, so... And his girlfriend was there, so... I had to tangle with her and him, trying to drop him down, because he was the Brute Rex, and that's the one I wanted. They're back the other direction. I might go back and take a peek again and see. I just want to get enough Trank Arrows. I'll piss one of the Argies off, get it to follow me out here in the open. Drop it. I've got lots of meat. I mean, there's dinosaurs all over the place here. Get some meat and get an arge so I can get up in the air. 
I made my base on the centered island straight that direction. You can see it on the map there. It's like right on a little island offshoot. There's nothing there. There's just the big base and the resources that gathered up there. So hopefully I was thinking about making the base up on those rocks right there because of the vantage point. I can see all these little trikes and stuff here. But, I don't know. I like to get up as high as I can, that way I get a good view of everything, but we'll see what happens. We'll make this mortar and pestle. I'll just take everything. Yeah, if I can get up onto those rocks, that would be perfect. So, mortar and pestle, and then we'll see what we can do here. Um, we'll start making these. A few of those. Another storage bin. Nah, we'll skip the storage bin for now. Alright, I need mortar and pestle. I got, oh yeah, I got more than enough narco berries. Alright, we'll get this on the boat, I think. starting to get dark which is sucky drop these drop all these drop that put all this good stuff in here all the hide I'll only need to keep the narco berries and the rotten meat on me don't need the fur won't need that keep these in just in case I get wrecked, because that might happen. Get rid of this, and all this. Alright, let's get on the boat. Put this right here. Pop in the narco berries, pop in the rotten meat. 18. Alright, that's enough. That's at least an arch, one arch for sure. Because I have two crossbows. I at least got that. I know I can't use Ebola, that won't grab them up but it's all right. I'll lure them, get them close. Should be able to drop them with that. Yeah, because this area is cool. I built a little platform here so I could actually get up on the roof. barely see anything, but we'll let that do its thing. Move out of the way, Gallimimus. Let's go for a little night run here. Get out of the way. Stupid Tranodon. Yeah, because the only thing I seen in this area was one Carnosaur. Just one. Me and the tech raptor took him out easy. All these Gallimimus over here. They're a pain in the butt to catch. But they can be caught. Yeah, the orange is still there. You can see him flying. Alright. Leave the torch. Be back in a second. Book it. Go grab those. Make the trank arrows. Stupid Diplodocus. I'll be killing them. Probably could kill them first, I guess. We'll do a little night slaughter here. Get rid of these. I need the meat from these to tame. 
This crossbow is about dead. But it's fine. I'm not worried about it. I got an extra. Soon they start moving away. That's it. One more. Now, we'll swap it for the bow and arrow. Hook up regular arrows on it. Got him. Jeez, took forever. Big old monster. Now we're gonna hook up all this meat. So much. Alright. Is that another one? Yep. Take him out too. Triceratops. He's got so many arrows in him. Got all those arrows stuck in him. <laughs> Stupid Diplodocus. Ah, my bow broke. That's alright. Throw a spear at him. Tons of prime meat. <clears throat> we'll grab the narco. Go get that. Drop all the hide off from what we just grabbed. So we won't need that. And then we'll go get that arge. Or an arge. Gonna have to look at them real close. Because once I get one of them down, the other ones are gonna get pissed off and come after us, so. We'll put all this hide in here, and the seeds. Look at all that prime meat. Alright, we'll just have to be quick about this. 18, good enough. Make 18 trank arrows. <coughs> go. To the Arge. Eighteen's gotta be enough. Usually it doesn't take more than three for me. But we'll see. You need to make a bow. I got a crossbow. I brought an extra crossbow. What 
we got to worry about is everything over there in the cold area. So what we're going to do is we're going to lure, hopefully, what is that, Rex? No, that's not a Rex, that's an Allosaurus. Of course it is. I don't know if I have enough armor to take on an Allosaurus. There's an Arge. What's the chances I kill this thing? What's around here? Just the Arges? What is that there? Horses? Frick. Single combat, I think I could take him out. What kind of armor am I wearing right now? Yeah, this game's awesome. Ark is best game ever. I'm gonna go in. Now, he's bait. He's bait from my RG. There we go, there we go. Got an Arge. Missed. Gotta be patient. One. There we go, there we go. Come on, baby. Two. Perfect level Arge, two. Three. Just eight, two, four. There he goes. There he goes. Got him. See how that works? He couldn't pass up a tasty allosaur to eat. All right, rest up, little Arge. I'm on patrol here. We got another Arge. Decent coloring. It's a female. I'll keep this. You little bastard. Get away from my Arge, you bully. Feed him to the arch to guarantee the tame. You know what I mean? Chop him up. Look at all that prime meat. Give me all that good, good. I don't need that. Arge, here's some more goodies for you. Look at all this. Well, yeah, this is good. This will work. That's more than enough. Way more than enough. We got this arch for sure. Take that. All that prime that was in there will turn to rotten meat. We'll just give it a second. And I'll grab that out of there. Keeping an eye out for anything dumb. But that's why I took that wolf pack out first. Now that Arge over there. There's a bunch of horses and... I'm not sure. Is that an Arge too? That is an Arge. So there's two Arge over there. I'll get this one first. I don't want to tame more than one. We'll get this one first. And then we'll go after another one. Maybe two of them. This one's got good colors, too. Yeah, I like this one. Perfect. This one's good. 
This one is a uh, real good. Okay, keep snoring there, Arge. What is this? Allosaur egg? I'll take it. Never had that before. Allosaur brain, I'll take. Two narco berries. Drop the rest of this. What's up, horsey? What's up, little horsey? Be good, horsey. Go ahead. See? Good. So I could just sit there and feed it then. So instead of having to chase those stupid things around, we could just bolo. Because that would be useful too if we had a little horsey. Could run around a lot faster. That Arge is just way out there. It's got cool colored wings though. Those are red. Have to make sure that it's a female though. Need a female Arge is what we're looking for. I think that one is female. Standard female colors. I'd like the one with the red ones, way down there, but that's risky. If I had full gear, good, I could. I wonder if I could hold an Arge with Ebola? I don't think so. I never actually tried it. It's the chances that hits him. It's a good shot. Ooh, just missed. Lucky. You're lucky there, Arge. Going down, going down. Ooh, he moves right at the last second, little bugger. <laughs> lucky. Alright. Arge? Taming yet? Super unconscious because I shot her with so many arrows. Shot him with so many arrows. All right, Arge, wake up. Eat this stuff I gave you. I got another Arge here that's calling my name. Ten arrows left. That's a chance that I can do this one. Horse, you yeah, scared the crap out of. Nice. Why is that horse getting wild over there? Some kind of trubs? <coughs> I better check. Horsey? Nothing. Alright, good. <coughs> Alright, Arge. Let's see if we can get a headshot. Ooh, just missed him. He's gonna be a finicky little bugger. There he goes, there he goes. He's up in the air. What has he got over there? Horsey? Nope, that's a trike. Two trikes. Come on, Arge. Eat. Eat, bird. A sheep. How much meat was on that? A lot. Tons, right? Yeah, you better run, you little baba -ba black sheep. Give me that lamb chops. These have so much. Oh, yeah. Juice me. I'll come back. Uh, I can barely move. 
I'll give all this to the arch too. When it takes its first bite, it's gonna have so much goodies to eat. It'll wake up. All right, Arch, look at all this. Lamb chops. Just a million of them. Chop them up. Too bad you can't just say, put all this in there. <laughs> I'd have to go back and get all this other stuff out, which reminds me I'll drop all this. Too heavy. That's all they give you, too, is prime. All prime, yeah. The little sheepies, all prime meat. Just a ridiculous amount of prime meat. More than anything else, do you? Did the prime meat work on the Rex, though? Or he didn't like this, did he? We didn't even try it. Because we didn't have any... Uh, the dragons area. eat it. The dragons ate that up like nobody's business. Which you reminds me... Because you got a lot more than what you think you got. Oh, I know. That's fine. I'm just going to keep filling it. On Ragnarok? <laughs> you guys got to see how many dragons I got on there. The last time I... I had accidentally hit turned mating on and they were just all in a huge big old pile they all laid eggs it was 31 eggs and I had to hatch 31 eggs which was a lot of resources but got them all hatched up we got a couple really cool ones we got some decent bloodline mutations so I have to get back in there yeah I got I got so many dragons I think I got over 200 dragons now so I don't I can't remember I think it's like 263 is the maximum for tames but I also went and got three Brontos and then I went and I got uh, a brute Rex and then I went and got the other two Rexes and then I went and picked up a couple of really cool RGs so I have like a ton of stuff now look at all that meat this RG is gonna take one bite and instant tame so Still got a sheep over here. He's still here. I'm going to drag his carcass over here. Oh no, 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 I don't want him over here. Let's do this careful. There's a couple panthers there. See him? No, no, those aren't panthers, those are wolves. Frick. One, two, three, four. <sighs> Maybe five. Frick! I don't want that. No, ch no chance I can tame them either. I gotta just stay out of range of them is all. All right, come on, Arge. Get up, buddy. You can do it. this friggin' Arge. I'll just have to guard him. Hopefully those things don't get up here. That's all. Yeah, earlier this week I had to do some... Well, earlier last week I had to move some big, huge, heavy cabinetry around. Like some of the old school-style cabinetry that they'd have in art class that has like a million bins in it made of solid wood and had to get creative use some pyramid of Giza type stuff to get the stupid thing inside the house at my ma's house there and then try to figure out rotational arc so I could get the thing standing up inside the um, sub level of the house where she wanted to put it but rotational arc was too high it was going to touch the floor joists underneath so I was like well gonna have to cut it so I had to measure and cut it which I did and then re put it back together basically so I got that all done and in there took her like two seconds to fill that up I still got to go over there and do a bunch of um, I got four more fence posts to put in I put in a hundred and 167 fence posts 
because I had to build the fence from scratch and I put in four rails on each section so tons of them you know basically a half a truck full of them and then all the pickets and there's 13 almost 14 pickets per section so yeah that was all summer I was working on that so I've got all the way around the yard is all done I just have the back section to do all the gates are installed and all that I had to build everything custom because they didn't have any sectional fencing it would have saved me a lot of time if they had sectional fencing but they didn't so I had to build it all from scratch dig all the holes so 150 holes three foot down and put the posts in and level everything and level all the rails and put all the pickets on I had to actually build a tool that I could use to level the pickets when I put the pickets on the fence so that it would look like it was made in a factory so that it was all perfectly level and square everything so there isn't any little dips or rises or anything like that so that took a while but I got all the ones in the back I only got four left to do so total there's like 160 some but there's a lot of fence and, I, and this is a big fence this is like eight foot tall fencing so it's a beast it was just so hot this summer oh yeah 74 percent we got this arch for sure so once I get that all done that's literally my last project all my other contracts are done except for the commercial contracts that I service and those are just buildings so I won't have to go outside hopefully all winter and deal with any service contracts because I was trying to avoid that this year because last year I was outside and it was like 40 below all the time and I had like 15 locations I was servicing and that was like man it's like eight hours outside and 40 below I mean yeah I'm from Michigan and I'm used to it but still it's kind of hard on the body so I was like trying to avoid that last week I got poisoned twice and it was stupid how it happened but got poisoned twice and had to call the freaking poison hotline to see if I was gonna be a goner but I wasn't I just had to suffer with my guts getting all tore up because I touched something that I didn't know had stupid chemicals on it because the people I work with are idiots it's like don't touch any of my stuff at work <laughs> you know because they don't rinse anything out or do anything else and I didn't know that they had chemical on it I didn't know until I was like something's up so yeah so it was like 10 days of absolute intestinal distress, we'll say. And then, of course, the rest of my body's like, hey, we're poisoned. I'm like, yeah, but it's not like when we got bit by the, um, that horse is getting wild there. Because I got bit by a, a wolf spider, and that wasn't fun. That basically started rotting my leg off, so killed that little bastard he was about the size of a softball had to make sure there wasn't any more but it, the injury just wasn't healing so I had to get some antibiotic for that had to have him put some stuff on it too other than that this whole season all I had to deal with was just hot that was it so first first season where nothing super exciting really happened yeah, no superpowers. I didn't get lucky. I, so I asked the doc, am I going to get any cool superpowers or anything? No shot. I get to keep my legs. It's about the only superpower I get, so. But I got bit by one of those uh, yellow sack spiders, and that thing didn't feel none too great. Basically makes you feel like your um, heart's going to stop or something. Start screwing up your uh, nervous system. Just a tiny little yellow spider. Really annoying little bastards. Because it's just so hot. The things are like mutating here, and it's like they're so huge. A lot of bee problems, but the bees were so disoriented from the way that the weather pattern was. It was blowing all the pollen around, so they were just like, I have no idea what I'm doing. So they're, they'd fly all around, and they're just like, I don't know where I'm supposed to go, you know? Like hornets, you know, the, the yellow jackets, the ones that sting you and keep stinging you and then tell their friends to come sting you too, those ones. But at least this year they were sort of disoriented because the way the pollen and stuff was flying around, so. 
but I've been wearing my mask outside even too because of my allergies and that and I haven't had an issue with my allergies so let's see tame 100% extra 25 levels we're gonna get out of this nothing huh yeah I see snow probably in about a week here I'll start seeing snow here usually we get like 10 inches of snow People on the roads start crashing and driving off the road because they don't know how to drive and they don't have good tires, but I always order specialty tires for my car, so I know what stuff to get, the good stuff. Yeah, it'll look like this. It'll look just like this. Snow will be on everything. I have to shovel every day, three times a day sometimes. Although last winter, we all, how many times did I take the snowball around? Only twice, maybe? Yeah, twice. And I was out there Two, for times. 10 hours both times. So 20 hours of snow blowing last year. That's pretty good. That's, That's not that much. This year, this year here, oh, I already know it's going to suck. It's going to be like a freaking ice age. I can tell just by the way that the weather is already changing. So... Yeah. Well, we had some, uh, uh, they're kind of like a hybrid, like a killer bee, basically. The ones that their stinger doesn't fall off. But I found this mixture that is fine for me. It's not a pesticide. But for them, Dunzo. And all it is is lemon, Mr. Clean. You dump it into one of those spray bottles, a chemical sprayer, which is a little taller than like a Windex bottle. And you put it on more like jet mode where it's gonna spray out a little more straight of a stream, not misting, but more of a straight stream. And you fill it up and put about a cup of water in it. So it's almost all just Mr. Clean, which is fine. It doesn't bother me at all. You spray that on them, it's immediate. They are completely confused. They have no clue what's going on. They sit there and, and walk in a circle, kind of wiggle around, make a bunch of noise, and then they're quiet. Literally, that's how long it takes. They don't sting or do anything. They don't get aggressive, nothing. Just make a little bit of noise, move around in a circle because they're disoriented, done. Spray it on the hive, spray it on them, doesn't matter. They don't fly after you. They don't do anything. The smell of it, the citric acid in it, is just enough that it confuses them. So they have no clue what's happening. And by that time, it's already too late. Because it absorbs through their body. Because that's like the only thing, chemical-wise, because I can't use pesticides at all. can't have any of that stuff by me. But Mr. Clean works just fine. So I use that. Just smells like lemons then. I'm wondering where the wolves went. There's a chance I can hop up on this rock. Parkour. Got it. All right. Where are you? Yeah, it just, they make a couple of bzzz sounds and walk in a circle a couple times, do a little couple of wiggles, that's it. I was like, wow. Because the other reason how I figured it out is I had that mixed because I was using it to do something and I opened up my shed and I was like, oh, frick, there's bees everywhere. And so out of reaction, I started spraying them. <laughs> with Mr. Cleaning, and then they were just kind of dancing a little bit and looking, and they weren't doing anything, and I was like, okay, aggressive and pissed, because they had started building a nest like right inside the door, so when I opened it up, I ripped the nest right in half, and they would have normally attacked me and started stinging the crap out of me, but I've been stung by thousands of bees already. My body's about had enough of it, right? So I was like, even one is too much, but nothing happened. They just kind of started chilling. I was like, alright, you're gonna be good now? So I sprayed that everywhere. 
all around, dripped it up on the top and that, and then just left it. Arge, excellent. All right, Arge. Okay, everything's cool. Let's go, back to base. Come on. We'll drop this one off and then we'll go get another one. I just wanted to get one. We gotta get this one back to safety. So we're gonna take this one actually all the way back to my other base. Because I don't have to worry about giant sharks or any other crap that's out here in the water on this one. Because there's a lot of dumb stuff out here. Still coming, Arch? Oh yeah, he's coming. He's got lots of meat, bless you. He's got lots of meat, so he'll be fine. He just jumped over that trike. 100 points. Come on, Arge. I'll show you the other base while we're at it. Keep it coming, Arge. There you go. Up and over. Hopefully I don't get attacked by anything. I don't know what those birds are doing. What is wrong with that bird? Get out of the way, bird. Stupid birds. I hate them birds. Those are the ones that fly right at you and try to eat all your stuff. Still coming? Oh yeah, or just like right on you. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I built the base on this island. We're just gonna trek right on over there. Drop this Arge off, and then I at least know it's safe. They want him to give an oral book report. But he won't. It's just us. He doesn't have to actually say the oral thing. But there's no way to record it on there, so. Jellyfish. Steer around the jellyfish. Yeah, this remote learning season is a real pain in the butt. I'm starting to think that they don't want us to do remote learning, because they give us so many assignments for it. They want to make it miserable, so we just send the kids to school, but that's never going to happen. They could give me three times as much of it, and I'm still going to do it with the kids. It's like, they're not going in the school. The school has no clue on how to manage safety. Arge is still coming. Alright, keep coming, Arge. We're almost there. It's right over here by these, like, triangle stones over here. Yeah, this map is an awesome map. I'll just say that. Volgaro's map, it's good. It's real good. I got lucky with the spawn and ended up like over here on this island, which was like primo spot. Yeah, I just US. I've 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 never been anywhere else except Michigan. I was in Chicago once, and that's not that far away. <laughs> so, because I work all the time, I don't get days off. Literally, I haven't had a day off in, at this point, almost 30 years. I have not had a day off. It's getting close. So I started working when I was 10, doing uh, construction. Yeah, but I still was doing work. I still had to do all the paperwork and everything for that, and all that fun stuff, so yeah. But yeah, that was the only day. And that wasn't even a whole day. So, it stands true. I have not had a day off at all. So here's our super base I built here. And Richard, our raptor, should be here somewhere. I left him. There he is, I see him. Richard's over here. Follow me, Arge. Let's go get Richard over here. Richard, where are you? There you are. This is Richard, our raptor. I got him from the other island. He's a good little raptor. But he levels up like dookie turds, so I couldn't take him with me. But this is the base. Probably the biggest base I've ever built. It's like a stronghold, really. 
you'll see on the inside how much storage I got. Alright, come on, Arge. Right here. Let me go up top, and I'll get him to come up top. Yeah, it's basically a mansion. Alright, Arge. Up here, buddy. There you go. Right up here on this... And right there. And... Right here. Land. Land right here. Excellent. That's good landing. What a good little RG you are. Now, chances of making a saddle for him, probably not the greatest. But we're gonna go... Stamina first. He's got so much food, he's never gonna run out. Alright, so I got the top part here. I was working on building this little area, which I will continue, but I'll show you the inside. So you can see, this took some doing. This is a lot of resources I had to get. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But, we have a lot of storage. Like a ton. And all these boxes are filled with stuff. So, I gotta see, what do I need for an RG saddle? One fifty. One eighty and three fifty. I got that. Yeah, tons of storage. I needed as much storage as possible. See if I might be able to fix my gear here. I mean, all my gear. Then I'll be able to take out any of those dumb things over there. So there's a fresh helmet. Fix these pants. Now I need some metal, which I might have in here. None there. None there. Crap. Okay. Well, that's alright. Take it anyways. And just take uh, this. And I could take that. Now I gotta do a little bit of looking here. A little bit of looking. There's more metal. Let's take that. Wood in here. Wood in here. Yes. Let's get this forge going so I can fix the rest of my stuff. There's that. And there's that. Let that go. Alright, where were we? Three... Let me check this one again. There's the wood. So what I'm looking for is I need some of the uh, little claw things. Zero, 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 zero. All these are empty. This one's got some. Start checking these. Flint. What do we got here? Uh, no. How about this one? Ah, uh, there we are. This one. Put this rotten meat in there. RG saddle, let's see. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. I'll be on here for a bit, trying to get this uh, RG all situated. And then I'll go back and get another one. And I suppose I could hop out of this real quick, and I'll go to Ragnarok, check on the old dragons real quick.
Then I'll come back and get an arch. Ragnarok. Yeah, I just got home from work just a little while ago. Take out the air conditioners. It's starting to get 50 degrees that night. Put the screens back in. Took a little bit of work. Yeah, I had to get the Twitch all set back up again. I still can't get it to link my YouTube yet. Still won't do it for some reason. I don't know what the deal is there. You can see the dragon nest is packed. Packed. Top level, bottom level, all the way up the ramp, all the way through there. I got dragons outside, dragons inside, everywhere. All dragons. I mean, it's just dragons, dragons, dragons. It's kind of hard to see because it's being dumb right now because it's dark, but... I got a couple of little dragons over here that are on this nest. Thought for sure they would get off there, but I guess not. <clears throat> and I have no... about the extent of torch that I get. A little arge here. No. I do not have... Yeah, no arge. They're all up top. The light will start trickling in here in a second. a ton of green colored red dragons. And my bronze and stuff are all up top here. I put the arges up here too. And all the ice dragons are up here. And all the lightning dragons are up here. They change the light. Oh, that's a good drop. You gotta go and check this out real quick. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Got a ring on it and everything. A drop. Give me something good out of this bad boy. Ring is good. See something good. What do we got? A lance, which I never use, and a stego stick. Junk. We got junk. never gives me armor or weapons. Always a stupid saddle. And not a good saddle that I would use for something. It's always something dumb. Let's check this gold drop. Maybe this one's got something good. Ooh, this one's got a ring on it. Another one. It's starting to fade, though. Don't disappear until I get you. Come on, 
dragon. Land. Yes, finally. Let's see what these are. These are Gilly Suit Ascendant. Wow. 273 hypothermia. Awesome. Now that'll work. And 74 for... That's almost like snow protection. So, yeah. Uh, I'll make that. That is useful. That I can use. Alright, Red. Back to base, buddy. We'll do a little flyby. You can see all the dragoons. There is a ton. There was a cluster of uh, bronze together. So I grabbed all three of them. I got that brute rex there. So I got all my blue dragons are up here. Pretty much got every color option that they have. So I parked them up here. And they're good. You know, they're good by themselves. Not great as combat flyers, but they're good as come with me and attack stuff. Dragons. Got all my RGs here. There's some up here. And there's a bunch down there. I got the white dragons over here. Hey, how's it going? White dragons are there. And then inside my dragon nest, I've got all these dragons. <laughs> uh, so many dragons. And they go all the way around and all the way up. All the way around the back section. All filled all the way to there and all the way up to the top. Except not on this little bridge, but I filled every other square inch. This is nothing but dragons. <laughs> so I got some dragons. <laughs> this took some work. But I've isolated the mutations so I can just mutate dragons and have whatever cool colors that I want. So, like, Andromeda has a typical... These are, all, these are all fire dragons. Every single one of these are fire dragons down inside this cave. There is no other dragon down here but fire dragons. So this is Andromeda. Look at her color pattern. She's a red dragon. I had to isolate the color pattern for the wings. And I like her little belly. It's got a little bit of red on it, but I tried to get it where it was like all black. Black with the cool green, you know? But here's all my blue dragons. I, I got, I isolated the color pattern and then bred the color pattern out and then bred the color pattern in. So I have now blue lightning dragons and then I also have black lightning dragons. I was trying to get a different wing color pattern, but they're all just pretty much the same. I, I need one with a different wing color pattern, so. And I left the other dragons in the nest. Um, the crystal caves on here. Because the uh, alpha keeps spawning in there. And my white ice dragons are down there. I can't find the purple one. That's the one I was out looking for. There is a purple one but she's being real finicky. But all my RGs are loaded because it took them on a little run to get some inventory, but they're all just kind of chilling up here. But yeah, I'll do a little fly through here. You can see all the, the dragons. I got my green dragons in here too, but see here's all the, and I got them over here. I pulled the green ones out of here. I'll show you where those are next, but I parked all the dragons in here. They're all over the place. We got all these dragons. Just tons of them. It's a sea of dragons. Yeah, well, you gotta be careful. Yeah, I had a hellacious week. Well, a hellacious two weeks. But, 
today is kind of winding down good, so. Yeah, that Rex that I have up top there, for Trixie and Rexy here, these two twin sister dragons. And then this is Sunfire, he's my white uh, fire dragon. This one took some doing, but I got it isolated. This is about as white as I could get him. I gotta turn him around here, be able to see him good. Yeah, see the... Got cool wing colors too. Like almost white wings with just the little splotches of the red. So I wanted to try to make one that was all white. So between him and I have another one over here that's white color too. And then I have one that's um, like an orangish color that I'm going to use to try to make just a brightest red color dragon I can get. So this, this one, Q2 here, is the prime stock redness. Like, really red. So all I got to do is take his wings and make those super bright red wings on him, and then I'll be happy with that. But I've got, like, purple red dragons with the uh, green. I've got purple with, like, a reddish color. And then I've got, like, the black with the red. They're all, all these are all fire dragons. Every single one of them. So when I gotta go do a boss fight or whatever, I just take the dragons in with me. I'll probably take an Arjun or two, maybe. These guys here are stuck inside the hatching thing because I took off and forgot about them. See if I can get him out of here. We'll try. Come on, dragons. Help those wings. It's like the game kind of glitched and they got stuck. Let's see if that works. Come on, dragons. Get out of there. They got the artifacts. I'm gonna go back and get another one. I think I can go back and get another one like Thursday probably. So it takes a certain amount of time before they spawn back in. Because I wanna put the same one on all these to just illuminate the base. I got three already. But this is the base on this map. I killed the one dragon. His head's there. His offspring is that red dragon that's out there, that Q2 one. I'm 
gonna see if maybe I can just bust out this one. Little section of things here. Hey Zoe, how's it going? all the dragons. I have an army of dragons. I'm just trying to get these little dragons out of this stuck spot over here, but I guess they're not going to let me. I broke a couple things over there, but... If that doesn't do something. Let's go to the uh, other map. So we got an arch, and I got a saddle. I'll hop on. Then we'll go take a little peeky peek and see if we can find uh, which one of those other ones is going to work. Volgaro. Crystal Isles. What is we doing in Crystal Isles? We have the RGs on Crystal Isles already. Yeah, we're working on this one. I like to get RGs and then I start working on full exploration of the map as soon as I get the RGs. Pretty well geared. Should be able to go back and get that other RG. I have enough Trank Arrows, I think, for at least one more. I just gotta get it out of that ice area. Because there's dinos down there that you don't want to have messing with you. Suppose I could fly back instead of taking the boat. I could fly back. Take a little peek. Do a little aerial recon first. Get up in the air. We'll do that with the Arge. Because you got to train them anyways. You know? They gotta have a little bit of training. So let's do that real quick. Alright, Arge. Got a saddle for you, buddy. Whip, whip. Whip, whip. 
pop the saddle on. Boom. And let's go with probably wait. Yeah, this is a nice, nice looking arch. I like this arch. It's got good colors. Speed's good. Speed's real good. Let's go up. Oh, little shooting stars. Cool. Alright, so... This is Bulgaro near the center of the map. A lot of mountain ranges that way. A lot of mountain ranges that way. That direction through there is rough. I walled it off because there was a bunch of carnivorous dinosaurs making their way through, which was not good. You can see my base. I did pretty good with it. It's almost a perfect triangle. Pretty close. That's pretty good. Got the little tower on the back there. So, back this way. We'll land down here. I'll pop some clothes on my little dude so I don't freeze to death. In this area here, you'll see what it looks like. I'll land here. I'll take a little peek around. Basically turn this island into like a little golf course because it cleaned out all the scrub trees and everything else. So this whole spot used to just be dense woodlands. Like there was like, you couldn't even get through here. You had to chop your way through. So now I got tons of dinos here. Stegos and all kinds of stuff that are just chilling, hanging out. Pop my gear back on. So what I don't have is shoes. But that's all right. There's Richard, my little raptor. All right, let's fly back. Yeah, see this island here, perfect. This one's all good. There's nothing here causing any problems. I got to get over to this island here and get all this resources because this is what that one used to look like, just like a hot mess, just all this packed in here. Look at all this scrag trees and a bunch of underbrush and rocks and it's like not really a lot of room to navigate you know I should be able to just fly across this yeah see I took the boat and I went this way and then I kind of veered off to the left there and that's where I found the Rexes because I was looking at this waterfall location here I was like, I always like building my base next to that because if it's dark out, then you can always find your base because you can hear the waterfalls. And this is a really cool spot. You know, looks nice. Waterfalls coming down. You know, put my base right up here on this little platform, is what I was thinking. I don't know what the heck that's crystals. We'll land up here for a sec. See, I was going to build it right here on this little... Literally right here. That's where I wanted to build the base. Might still do it. It is an option. Almost ejected myself. I just wanted to level up the old stamina on the arch. RGs do best with about 1,500 stamina. As soon as you get to 1,500, looking good. Alright, continuing on. Nine... Trank arrows. Yeah, so I came to this beach, this little pocket here. And I started working my way up this little coastline. Because I knew the RGs would be in the cold one. I came through this little arch here. Could build a base up on this too, I guess. A little rough, but not too bad. This is where I ran into the Rex. <clears throat> his little girlfriend. They were hanging out on that little island over there. I don't see him now. I don't know where they went. 
Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Playing a little, uh, arc. Hey, how's it going? Doing a little late night stream. Had some extra time. Yeah, busy is an understatement. <laughs> yeah, I've been bu I've been busy. <laughs> been working me to the bone more like. Between the remote learning and stuff with the kids and all the other projects and stuff wrapping up, October is always like that last crunch for the year to try to get everything finished because then the snow starts flying here and it's like if you don't do stuff outside in the snow which sometimes I do you know because I gotta work out there and manage properties and stuff like that then you're just inside until summertime basically because there's not a whole lot of other stuff you can do can't really do construction stuff outside but I do like snow removal and stuff like that usually so but I'm just going to keep my commercial contracts going, I think. All the rest of the contracts, I finished and got them all done. Most of the stuff I got done last month, so I was already finished. So I'm just trying to catch up. Yeah. I miss the snow when it's freaking 100 and some degrees, but then when it's 40 degrees below, I go, can I drop this extra 60 pounds of gear that I'm wearing? <laughs> that gets kind of old after a while, but... I, I bought a lot of specialty gear, so over the years I've gotten different things that actually work good. Like, I'm wearing, like, a base layer. This is a base layer. These things work good, but by the time you get all the gear and stuff on to work outside, it's, like, 60 pounds. On average, it's, like, an extra 60 pounds. Hard on the old legs. But I like to feel like I'm still sitting on my couch when I'm outside, so. Yeah, the heated ones. I can't wear the heated ones because I work outside, so it's just, it gets too hot. Um, but I tried them, and like, even something with the way that the electrical system is on it kind of messes with my body a little bit, so I was like, I can't do it. But the tech of the fabric... I found um, another company that makes that same tech for the fabric itself. And I have that as an outside layer, and on the inside I have like a, a double layer double layer Sherpa uh, lining, which is basically like wearing a sheep on your body. It's like super warm. That stuff, between that and then wearing like a base layer like this, which is like that um, uh, specialized like uh, it's super, super thin, but it's moisture wicking. Oh, that's great. You put the base layer on, put the Sherpa on, and put that outside layer. It's kind of like a... It's kind of like a mix between neoprene and like a... Like a stretchy uh, spandex, sort of. But it's waterproof, and I put that on the outside. It's not super warm, but with the micro fleece uh, layer that it has, it works pretty good. So I use that... Um, Wintertime, I put that on on the outside. I find that actually works a lot better. I used to use, like, car hearts and things like that, but they get soaking wet, and then you're just like, you know, you're never good. Yeah, the heated gear works... Uh, I had that uh, Milwaukee heated gear where you just had the little battery pack. You could charge it up, last about six hours. Kind of looked like Iron Man with a little light on it. You could change it between the three temperatures, but I'm way too physical, and I've got grizzly bear blood. So that, I was just dying in it. Even on the lowest temperature, I was dying, just sweating like crazy. I was like, man, I can't have this heat on. This is killing me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the the different layers that I used to use, what I would, I would do like, um, like a thermal vest. I would have a, a vest that had like the Carhartt sort of material. Because for me, I just need to keep the core of my body warm. So, like, my arms, I don't need anything on, and I don't need anything really on my legs as much. For my legs, what I did is I put... Uh, I've got a base layer that I wear, which is, like, super thin fabric that's just moisture wicking, more or less, but it's, like, a fits tighter to the skin. Not compression. I can't wear compression. Um, 
but just regular nicely fitting base layer super thin fabric moisture wicking um, thermal and then I put uh, uh, like a like a Nike windbreaker sort of like pants but I in between that I wear those Sherpa lined um, like joggers and I'm good I mean I could be outside all day long in that uh, I'm fine doesn't bother me one bit yeah yeah Florida would be hot that's what it felt like here all summer was Florida I didn't like it I don't I don't like it being that hot you know like jungle and stuff not me like today it was 50 degrees outside that is perfect love it I was getting tons of stuff done feeling perfect outside I just had my uh, hoodie on I got my uh, regular uh, pants. I've got these uh, sort of like a stretch fabric pants that uh, Columbia sort of makes. It's like a really, it's like an outdoorsman uh, gear. It's like got rip stop protection so you can't cut through it with a knife. It doesn't snag or tear or anything like that. But it's also waterproof. You can just give it a little tug and then snap it and all the water just flops right off of it. It's perfect. It's like optimal gear. I always get the tech because I got to use it for work, you know. So I like to stay dry and I like to stay warm or cool, depending on what the situation is. Like I got some uh, boxers this year that are like vented. Dude, it just feels like you got an air conditioner on all the time. It's like great. Love it. Yeah, I, the kids' remote learning takes up 10 hours of the day and I work 10 hours of the day, so there's only like four hours left. <laughs> Because we live on Earth, you know? So it was a bit of uh, trying to get things situated and get sort of a routine down. Because my daughter is in junior high school this year. So there's a lot more like notes and that whole process that's got to get taught, you know? So I am the instructor, I am the teacher. So I got to go through and do all that. And then I got to, uh, when my wife's doing the stuff with the son, trying to help get the different assignments for him done I have to get real creative with how I do that because there's a lot of times where she's gonna need help with different assignments so I got to help with those too you know especially the math stuff because they have a hard time with that the new age math is not instructed properly so I gotta teach them how to do off. it but God, it's killing me. on the little heater thing yeah it's just venting the fan it's not actually on on so yeah I'm here still though yeah my my kids aren't like normal kids I guess you could say they act like adults you know because they're around us so they don't act dumb and do all this other funky stuff so she just started her um we'll say maturation so she's getting into that uh, first wave of biological adjustment so that's all going fine no issue you know she's it took me probably about probably about nine hours of instruction as far as how that whole thing goes and then she was doing real good after that so she's all self-sufficient fine no emotional roller coasters or nothing she understands the whole procedure on how that goes so yeah I've seen the ones that call themselves normal yeah society as a, as a whole <laughs> I've lost a, a lot of uh, you know I guess tolerance when you when you go out in the world now it's just like you look around and you're just like really that's what you think is normal I am I'm gonna beg to differ on that <laughs> so but I got my son uh, he's starting to get trained up pretty good um, as far as understanding like the streaming culture and how all that goes because he's kind of getting screen locked a little bit so we had to get through and figure that whole thing out and get that adjusted properly so that he's in the right trajectory I'm all fine if that's what he thinks he would like to do as far as his career and stuff but there are other things that factor in and do that as well you know like for me okay good the wolves took that thing out that's what I was hoping for um 
Just a little bit of patience and use nature. I knew if I lured that thing over here, they were going to take it out. I got four wolves, which is easier to take out than a Unitaris. I had no way I'd take it out. Um, but education-wise, I mean, like me, I own my own business, you know, so I all the different things that I did for the course of my career, of the different choices that I made and different things I did, was all for a reason so that I could be completely self-sufficient and not rely on anything, you know. But all those trade skills and all the different things that I learned how to do by self-teaching myself or by learning, by going through and putting myself through those motions, you start to develop new procedures and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I, and I mean, it's not a matter of having them do what you want. You know, other cultures, they do that. They're like, you have to be this, you have to be that. It's a matter of giving them the proper mindset and the right tools so that they can make educated decisions on what is going to work. And then, of course, the ultimate goal is to be successful doing it, right? So whatever it is, success, you know? So I make sure that all that's in place. You know, a lot of times, not only just for my kids, but for other kids or other people in general. I mean, I help a lot of people on a daily basis, you know, because I, I, my main thing that I do is operational compliance. And throughout the course of a day, my knowledge base is stretched and pulled and tugged in multiple directions for people. And a lot of times they'll have a situation and they have literally no idea what they need to do. And I just walk them through and teach them and instruct them the different ways to do it. And they're just like, I didn't even know that that even existed or if that was even a way or an option for me to do what I got to do. And it's like, yeah. It's like I created that particular path to get to that result that you're looking for because nobody else understands how that actually operates. You know, there's a different, a different procedure for it that can get you to that without having to go through all of the chaos and, and roller coaster ride of not knowing what the heck is going on, you know? A lot of people that are in, like, business or even people that are just trying to do normal things, like, I had somebody that was working on a job resume and they've never wrote a resume in, like, 20 years. Well, a lot's changed in the last 20 years as far as resumes go. But you wouldn't know that if you haven't been in that sort of position. But I've held management positions for almost 25 years, so it's like I know, you know, more wolves, lots of wolves. I know, like, how the market changes and how the business requirements change. Man, there's a ton of wolves here. I'm going to pause up here on this little uh, rock formation, take a little gander around. But... The thing of it is, I mean, it, it all boils down to anybody can do anything. Anybody. If somebody's doing it, then whatever it is they're doing, they either learned how to do, instructed themselves how to do, or were taught how to do it. And culture nowadays is in that, you know, see sort of thing, but they don't tell sort of thing unless they are having some problem with something right then they'll they'll complain and throw up torches and pitchforks they do that well this this particular age the one that has sort of rose in the last four or five years here has a voice that is pretty toxic and is going to be self-destructive it could be a little bit more uh i guess it could be more sufficient Right? where it can sustain itself and actually start progressing and moving itself in a proper direction. But I don't see that happening. It is self-destructive. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to pan out, and it's not going to pan out well. And they're going to go, well, well, that didn't work out so well. You know, We stomped our feet and uh, complained a lot and, and threw our hands up in the air, and we didn't get what we wanted to. It kind of reminds me of children throwing a temper tantrum. And it doesn't really get much. You know, you're not going to get anywhere with that. you got to be more intelligent, and if you know how to do something uh, logically, the best way to do it is to share that knowledge base in a way that is going to help you. Yeah, be assertive. You know, you don't want to put yourself into a position where you 
cut off all options of excelling. And that's what that does. You're going to limit your resources and you're going to limit your capability by doing that. So, that, like, when I do my tabletop RPG streams, which I do those often, um, I had a whole almost 30 episodes that I did. And I moved all those over to the YouTube channel. Well, it, it wasn't long before I started noticing other YouTube channels and other individuals taking the information from the videos, which was very specific as to not for publication. For personal use, yes, but not for publication. But they started using it, right? Thinking that, hey, I can just use it. And it it's inspiration. No, it's breach of copyright. But, you know, go ahead and, and pretend you know that. So then they start producing stuff, and, and then they're at a standstill because they don't have anything else. Yeah, they don't, they don't care. that It's what can they do for themselves, right? They don't care about the greater good. Whereas what I had created was for the greater good. That's what it is. So they didn't pay attention well enough because they don't have all of the knowledge base. So they kind of screwed themselves. You know, they might have took good notes, we'll say. Uh, but the videos aren't up there. So now when they go to produce the next video and the next one, which they've done, you can see that depreciating value of the content that they're trying to put out there. Pretending that they created it, but they didn't create it. So they have already started to run into the problem. And what they don't realize is when I create something or when I do something, I'm not an idiot. So I place in it a self-destructive system that will degenerate itself in value without me in the presence of it. So if I'm not a part of it, it will degenerate itself. It requires me. I leave crucial components in there that are only existed with me being there as part of it. Without me, sorry, it, it degenerates. I call it a safety feature, right? Got to put that in there to protect my assets and my ideas and my creation. I have no problem teaching and instructing and, and training. And if somebody paid me for services, oh boy, I would do all kinds of good stuff. But without compensation, it's not theirs. They didn't spend the last 30 years creating it, so I can't, in good faith, allow them to take and do whatever they wish with it without proper instruction, right? So they've already found that there were things in place and I get messages going, well, you know, and I say, hey, it's not yours. What did you think? You had everything you needed when you watched the video? <laughs> no, you had that piece of it. You have no idea how many pieces are there. Yeah, well, they're in breach of copyright. That's why some of the companies had, had already slated for doing uh, books and products and everything else. And then all of a sudden, weird, why they had to go back to the drawing board or there was delays, they say, for the public. And the public doesn't know anything else. They don't, they have no idea. Well, it's because they took my stuff. You think I was just gonna sit back and not say anything about it? <laughs> no, I'm gonna say something about it. I'm going to say it in a business professional way so they understand that I'm not just some Joe Schmo on here. No, I literally own my own business, and you are in breach of copyright. You have fraudulently claimed product that isn't your own, and ideas that isn't your own, and saying inspiration just because of the genre that you are communicating in doesn't mean jack crap. You're in breach of copyright. <laughs> I call it plagiarism <laughs> at the very least. <laughs> so you can take it back out of your books, thanks. Unless you want to cut me a check, and then I will be part of the project and actually make it successful for you, which I have no problem doing. Absolutely, that's why I created it. But without compensation, sorry, I can't help you. You're on your own, you're in breach of copyright, take it back out. So they found that out real quick. They're still delayed, because I'm not satisfied with the removal. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what they're actually ended up with when they're done. Yeah, exactly. They said, I take cash, uh, or check, but cash preferred. I said, credit, I'm not, you know, you know, credit's okay, but I said, I don't have a little thing you can slide it through, and I said, and I don't want to slide a credit card through my butt cheek, so. So that's about as good as that is for me, so. 
cash preferred. If not, no. You know, contract, that would be nice, you know. If you like it that much and you think it's so great, then sign a contract. And don't worry, I write the contracts myself. I make sure that they are flawless and there is no chance because I do operational compliance on a daily basis, so. Yeah, yeah. I've got uh, a daily account that I have to service every day all the way through winter time, but other than that, besides being gone for a few hours a day to, to do that, I don't. Um, remote education is what I got. I've got slated, uh, hopefully, we'll start probably this weekend. I'm going to start doing the tabletop RPG stream again. Um, i got to go through and do some vids and check and make sure that the audio is working right. Because I haven't, I don't know if the, the mic sound fine on stream here. Hopefully it's sounding all right. The reason I was having issues in the summertime is because my air conditioner was literally sitting right next to me, but... I don't think the little heater that I have setting here is going to cause any issues. It doesn't. It didn't seem like it when I uh, viewed the stream I did a few days ago. I streamed and then took it back off, but I was just checking to make sure that uh, the audio sounded good. So hopefully the audio sounds fine. Because until I get um, partnered on here or however that works with the Twitch there, expand to where I can get uh, subscribers and stuff. I'm not gonna buy any other tech for this space. I think the tech that I got is pretty good. Yeah. Well, I have to swap. So the AC is out and the heater's in. So there's still noise, but it's not as noisy as the AC because the AC was having to run continuously. Like right now, all the windows are sealed up, and it's a freaking raging inferno in here. Like. This trailer is so hot, it's ridiculous. Just having the furnace on, but not actually blowing any heat whatsoever is enough. Put the dryer on and you wanna run around in here in your underwear. It's like you got little aborigines and, and elephants in here and we're, we're going through the bush, you know? It's like, man, it's freaking hot in here. The humidity is just ridiculous. But when I turn the heater on, humidity drops down to about 10 or 20 percent so it's so dry in here you're like please don't blow on me my skin's gonna tear like paper and you're trying to rub lotion all over yourself because your skin's so freaking dry but you know winter time the joy of it and then the heater's running you know trying to keep you warm after that but i think this year it's gonna snow a lot because last year it didn't snow for crap and then besides that little happiness I think it's gonna stay pretty wet so if it's wet that's good that means that I won't have to worry about running the humidifier because I have that and I have a dehumidifier if I need to I got all these RGs but I can't get a single one of them yeah the the way that the Earth's axis is tilting currently, it's actually shifting global climate um, probably about 10 degrees or so. So, like, Texas is getting snow now, and we're getting that hot, nasty, disgusting summertime, which is what lower states between us and Texas was getting. So hopefully it either rotates all the way around and we just get complete climate shift and then I'll just wear shorts all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Old Willie there. Yeah, he, uh... He's gonna be in space for a bit, I think. I told him on, on the thing there, he needs to build a different ship. The ship he's on doesn't look like the ship he should be on. He it. was in space already. Yeah, I, I know, but, I mean, permanently. Get up there and cruise around. Be captain of his ship, you know? He needs a different ship, and I sent him a picture of the Enterprise. I said, you need to get him to make a different ship, you know? <laughs> yeah, you made it. Yeah, you got lucky. Yeah, he was up there and doing his thing, and he'll be back, so... Yeah, 90's good. He got up there. I think if he goes up there, I think he'll age really slow, so he could go up there and, yeah, he, he can do whatever he wants up there, you know? Why don't he hang out at the space station up there? He could... 
keep them busy up there, you know? I said, uh, I told him, I said, you should go to the space station and stay there for a few years and stream some Twitch from there, <laughs> you know? Like how he always talks <laughs> with those purposeful pauses, you know? Yeah, he was good at that on Unsolved Mysteries. Yeah. I like, I like Will. He's good. He's a good boy. Never had no issues with him. Alright. Those are two female RGs. Guaranteed. What one do you want there, Toots? That yellow one with the white? Or you want that other one? This one's really getting close here. Which one They've cleaned house pretty well here. I'm gonna have to do this extra careful. I don't want to lose this Arge. Alright, Arge, you need to be on your best behavior here. So we're gonna go with we're gonna say stamina as high as we can get. Now behavior. Attack target, I'm gonna say neutral. And I'm also gonna say medium is good. And we're gonna say target range high. Stay. Do not engage. Repeat, do not engage. We're gonna get this arch right here, hopefully. One shot. I'm gonna get her over here. Come on. Made it back, huh? Sweet, sweet, sweet. I'm working on getting some RGs here. Hopefully this is a female. Oh, she's she's going back. She's going back. Boom. Take a nap. Nice, nice. Oh, okay. Arge, we gotta go. That Arge is dead. Airborne, baby. Up. Oh. Frickin' wolves. I knew they were gonna come over there. You bastards. I have just enough to trank one more Arge. Dang it. Those wolves are relentless. Frickin' wolves. And they're mated, too. One is an alpha. Is that an alpha? Looks very alpha-ish. Male and female. No. It's just in heat. It's aggroed me. Oh, you little bastards. Arge, up. Little prick. Got right up there. Alright, alright. You wanna be rough about it. Make him work for it, Arge. Stay on the arc. Arc has got good aggro range. I'm good, I'm good. Still good. Alright, Arch. Up we go. How much damage we do there? <coughs> He's at half. We can kill him. Or I can kill him. Alright, Arch, you know the drill. You know the drill. Can I just pick him up? What do you think? Almost. Come on, wolves. Follow me. We'll stay low. We'll lure him down here and get the trike to get pissed. I'll bail on the Arge. And then... Here comes the wolf. Good, good, good. Good, there we go. He's chasing that stupid wolf. Alright, Arge. Just wait. We wait. We wait. We wait. 
bounce. Pass the trike. Bounce. We're gonna split them up. Split them up. Okay, she's still coming, she's still coming. Let's get her over here by this trike. Yeah, I know, but they're kind of a pain in the ass to tame. I wish they were a little easier to get, but they're not. Alright. See how relentless she is? Okay, she's going after the trike. She's gonna get busted up. Just wait, Arge. Just wait. Let the trike... Let the trike do it. Alright, that trike is getting shredded. Getting shredded. As soon as she drops the trike, we're moving in. Stay put. Yeah, I knew you were gonna go aggro to it, bastard. Come on. Come on, losers. Yeah, come here. To me. To me. Focus on me, you idiot. Arge, back off. All right, eat them, both of them. Eat their bodies. You didn't want to eat them? Come on, eat these guys. Victory meal here. There you go. Now, chill. I'll stand by you and aggro health here. Good thing I know tactics. They're not smarter than me, that's for sure. Alright, stay put for a second, Arge. What do they get? Give me something good. Pants? I mean, whatever. Bunch of dumb stuff. Don't need. Where's the other one at? This one. Should be able to find the other one. Ooh, I'll take these. And I don't need that. Drop all this. How's your health, Arge? Full health. Not even damaged at all. Alright, let's go back. Try again. Trike dropped something. No. Two more wolves. And I can get that other Arge. I have six Trank Arrows. It's cutting it close. <laughs> I just need one more Arge. Is all I need. I like to have two. Okay, we got... We gotta pause on this rock here. Pack of Wolves. That Arge is dead for sure. There's two to the left. We got one... Ooh, that's a nice white one there. Okay, I have an idea. Let's do this a little different. Let's go like so. Do this. See if the Arge follows me. Let's get this Arge. We're just gonna lure him up here. Hopefully it aggroes to this Arge and then follows us. Let's check it. Yep, we got one. That's all we want. Pass this big old Bronto out here. Keep it within range. I need just enough time. Just enough time to shoot three Trank Arrows into it. At least three. You're luring the wolves with you, you dumb Arge. Fly higher. one of these maneuvers. That's why I love Arge. Alright, hang tight, hang tight. Okay, so that's dead. Now we got one more. Okay, two pigs. Who cares? One 
one wolf. Let's see if I can get this Arge. He seems pretty adamant about being dumb over here. But he's by himself. Let's do a little flyby here. Oop, gonna have to land. Let's land up and set him on the ground, right? What do we got? Bront. Five or six Allosaurus over there. A bunch of frickin' pigs. Ark? I play Ark a lot. Um, I played over 4,000 hours on each of the maps for Ark since it came out, and I reset each map seven times. So, seven times 4,000 for each map is about how many hours I have on it. So I play it a lot. I do stream it a lot during the summertime because I have a little more time when the kids aren't in school, but, you know. Yeah, I, I stream and I do, um, like, walkthroughs or instructional for it um, as often as I can, so. Like, I got this Arge on this stream. I mean, piece of cake. I played so much of Ark that I know precisely what you need to do, precisely when you need to do it. And exactly how much you need to level very specifically. Completely dialed in. And the, the settings that I have um, on here are tweaked from the stock settings, which are absolute trash. If you don't adjust uh, the settings on Ark when you first start playing it, you're not going to have as, as fun of a time, so. Yeah, thanks for the follow. That Unitaris has got four, three Carnos. Three Carnos. He is the alpha of that group of predatory destruction. But they're dumb. Their intelligence is not that high. There's my Arge. Alright. Now, where's those pigs at? Here comes the pigs. Getting ready to do some trubs. Try and help her a little bit. These pigs follow me. Frickin' pigs. They're gonna end up killing her. I know that. She's dead for sure. Stupid pigs. I hate those pigs. Come on, pigs. Follow me. I got a little friend I want you to meet. He's over here. Yeah, usually I don't uh, team up and stuff. On, but I do have one map that I do play with other uh, players every once in a while. Look at this guy. We're out of here, Arch. Alright, alright. Let him do it. Ah, doing a raid. Thanks for the raid. <laughs> Zoe coming back in. Yeah, I'm still on. Hey, everybody. How's it going? You went live to raid me. <laughs> okay. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, I, I'm still on. I'll probably be on for a while. I tend to stream for a long amount of time because I don't sleep too much, so... <laughs> yeah, thanks everybody. Thanks for the raid. Appreciate it. Helps the channel out a lot, that's for sure. Yeah, it's good. It's going good. I got, uh, I got an Arge, and I'm working on trying to get another one here, so. I'm, uh, having difficulties over here in this area. I figured as much. I got lucky with the first Arge, so. Hopefully, we can get one more Arge over here. If not, there is another area that I can check out, which actually... 
Daylight is in the perfect location. I'll rest the Arge here real quick. And I will actually fly that direction because I know there are higher level RGs over there. I'm not sure if I'll be able to trank one, but I should be able to scope it out a little bit and then grab what resources I need, obviously, and then just go after it. So hopefully we'll see what happens. But there's a mountain pass that leads this direction on this particular map. I'll get the Arge over that way and see if I can... I'm trying not to go into the deep, deep, deep area. There is an Arge. There is an Arge. Got a hot mess of dumb stuff over here. That stupid Unitaris. Look at how many... Look at all the stuff he's got allied with him. Four wolves. Two Carnos. They're all going after that Arge. What a mess. Why don't they go after that Diplo? Crazy. There's an Arge right there. That red one. They'll kill that panther. I'll piss this one off. Follow me, little Argies. There we go. Now oh, they're hungry. They're going after that. Let's get both of them to follow us. Come on, little Arge. We'll lure him away from the dumb. <laughs> Hopefully it works. Oh yeah, we got two of them. Here we go, here we go. We'll see if we can... Uh, cautiously, we'll try to get him. I'll end up having to pick one of these two. Come on, come on. There we go. Still good, still good. Alright, Arge, we're gonna have to do a quick pit stop here. I'm only going to be able to trank one of them. I don't have enough trank arrows for two. Unless, for some reason, it takes down three and I'm just that good of a shot. I'm, I am that good of a shot, but... The sun is absolutely atrocious. Just wait. Just pause. Little Arge is going to come down to the ground. There you go. Land. No, 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 no. Don't pull up. Land, you freaking canary. There you go. There you go. Right here. Towards me. There you go. There you go. Now fly down, you big idiot. I'm not going to lose my arrows on this Arge. I want him to get on the ground. And then I will pop him one. There you go. Come on. Nice, nice. There we go. Right in the face. Now we run. Two. Oh, I just missed him, you little bugger. No, you're going down. Take a nap, baby. Right in the butt cheeks. All right, now while he's taking a nap here, we gotta move quickly. We'll kill this idiot. I need prime meat, and I need prime meat quick. Yeah, you can't hit me when I'm down here underneath your big old belly, can you? Yeah, it keeps coming around. That's good. I'm not like the raptors or the other stuff. I know right where to go where you can't get me. Right in the belly. Come on. Oh, playing the game, huh? Alright, alright. Come on. Over here. There you go, there you go. I'll have this arch in a second here, chat. Kill this stupid diplo because I need the meat. Prime meat. You need at least three rows of it. At least three rows. Argies can't resist it. 
needs to be fresh. We've got a big chunk of it right here. Boom. Arch. Oh no. Look at those trubs we got here. Alright, we gotta be fast. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to lure them away. Well, let's just do this. Drop everything. Gallimimus, you better not lure those things down here, you stupid thing. My arrow's back. Okay. Back away. Back away. I do not want them to aggro me. Alright, Arge, we gotta run a mission here. We're gonna piss them off and have them follow us. We're gonna lure them the other direction. I'm not gonna risk it. Let's go. They see that Arge down there, they're gonna think dinner time and come down there and kill it. I don't have any more arrows left, so we gotta lure these dummies away from this cliffside. And the dummy we need to hit is this guy. Come on, follow me. Are they coming? No, they're not. They're stupid. He's looking down there. Look at look what he's doing. What a little part. Miss. Uneasy. Yeah, my dino's out of control. Cool. You're fine, Arge. Relax. 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 You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Calm down. Calm down. We're back in it. Alright. Okay, they're over there by the man. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so. Do I have... I do not. Hard, you gotta grab a few things. Gotta come over here for a second. I need some of this. I need some of this. Come on. Grab some stuff. Punch this tree. Need a couple torches is what I need. Good enough. Arge. There we go. Now we can see. Arge is there, safe still. All we're gonna do is keep an eye on it. Looks like... Yeah, Unitaris and those other Carnos went all the way the other direction, so we're fine. Let's uh, come over here to this little rock. I wish I had some actual gear gear on. But the game is not giving me any drops that are worth anything. I'm getting dookie drops, is what I keep getting. Here we go! The rhino is going to take out those bulls. RG's still safe. Everything's cool. Let's just kind of mosey on over here this direction. There's a lot of wolf packs over here. We're only here for the Arge. As soon as we get that Arge, then we're out of here. That's an Anklo. Those are pigs? Yeah, oink oinks. Not too worried about them. One wolf in there? Nope, just pigs. What are they eating? Scorpion? Stupid pigs. They eat anything. There's a nice Arge right there. Orange. Two 
bet I don't have enough trank arrows for that. That's okay. I want that yellow one, so. Alright, let's go check it. Let's fly a little higher, though. Don't want to aggro anything. Wolves. She's still sleeping. As soon as she pops up, and we're bailing. We'll take her back to base, get her a saddle, and then we're good to go. We're heading that way, towards those mountains. I need to get up into that valley that direction. I don't have to have any specialized gear for over there, so that's the reason why. I just want to make sure that uh, I have an extra arge. That way I can load it up with stuff. Because I'll take everything I need to build a base, and then build a base over there. I have the main base done. Now I'll start building my tower bases that I do. I have enough resources back at the main base. We'll build up all the pieces we need, and then go for it. I'm still thinking either that little spot over there, or right here. I would like to bust this big rock out of here, clear these trees out, and build a base literally right here on this. I'll wall it all off. Either here or over on this little rocky outcrop. Probably that one. That one's actually a little better. This one's pretty good. It's pretty flat. Less to clear off. Oh, 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 what's this? What's this? What's this? Is that an albino rat? Brute? Looks like it. It is. That is an albino brute rex. Male, too. Let's go and uh, see if we can upset him a little bit. I can see him. He's behind them trees. He is going through the water. Chomping fish. It's an albino rex. Brute, a brute rex. By himself. No mated pair. So he is all by himself. Run, Parasaur, run! Don't let him eat you. He's fighting a stego right now. Let's, uh see who's over here. Who's this? Another Rex. But that's an automated pair. Circle around, Arch. Circle around. There you go. There you go. Come on back. You can kill him, Arch. You got this. This will be a major level up right here. I'm helping you, Stego. Run! Get away from him, you big brute. You got him, Marge. You got him. You got him. You got him. Eat him up. Pause. Eat him. You did it. Got him. Arc, since it came out. Lots and lots and lots of hours. Oh, a little bastard. Art, I just got hit by something. I'm blind. I can't move my hand. No, don't attack me. Frick. Art. Oh, this is a long way down. Ooh, that's my legs. Parkour. Let's go, Arge. Airborne, baby. Up. Safety first. Yeah, I've got a lot of hours in Ark. Of all the games I have, besides Elite Dangerous, Ark is... is a lot of my time, we'll say. A lot. 
Arj is still down for the count over there. Yeah, originally I had, when I first did it, I played 4,000 hours in every map, so. And then I reset them seven times, each one of them. Because I don't like dying. So, at this point, it takes a whole heck of a lot. Either I'm choosing to die, or I'm having something purposefully chase me, and some weird thing happens that I trip on a rock or something, and I die. <laughs> it does happen. I do get killed every once in a while, so. Then I usually play the game a little bit, and then I end up deleting it, and, and restart from the beginning, because I don't like to be dead. Even once. We got more than enough meat. How much level ups we get from killing that Rex? Six level ups. This ought to finish off Arj here. So, my Argies, I like it setting right at 1200 stamina, at least, bare minimum. Health, 1000, that's fine for now. Next is weight. I like to get that up to about two or 3000. And then the Arj is all set. I don't waste my time on stupid Pteranodons. They're too hard to tame. They're a pain in the butt to fly. They don't have good capabilities. Tapajara, which is kind of like a Tranodon, it's got a big sail on its head. Uh, they're worth the effort. They fly good, they fly like an Arge, and you can fly backwards with them, so they're useful. Arge is up. Arge is up. Come on, girl. Now we have as many Argies as we need because we can breed these two. So we can make lots of Argies. What level is this one? Level 20? Level 20 female mate boosted. So, alright, perfect. We can make as many Argies as we want with these two Argies. So we'll breed them, hatch one Arge off of it, and see what we end up with. But we'll take her back to base. Faces this way. Breed and drop, and I will hop into one of the other maps. We'll save the uh, RG rearing for later, so. But yeah, art came out a long time ago. I'm waiting on the new map, the um, uh, new one, Lost Island. It's going to be coming out pretty soon. Uh, they've got all the votes and stuff in for all the new dinos they're going to use for it, so should be should be a good one. Got a lot of really cool looking stuff for that one. And it's a community map, but it's also developers, you know, so the developers have their say in it. Uh, some of the maps, like this one and a few other ones that are um, community maps, for me, because I push the game so much, the um, the game has a hard time keeping up with me. So sometimes it might get a little bit of glitchiness going on. But two-player mode, it sucks a little bit. Uh, mainly because when you try to go under the water, um, there's like a crazy shadow that appears on there. But I usually... When I play Ark, most of the time that I'm playing it, I'll say 98% of the time, I'm playing solo. And I have the settings on the game set so ridiculously crazy that the play experience is awesome. Like, I've dialed in the dinos to the point where, like the wolves, right? Visual acuity is on point to realism. If there's a dead animal like with the Arge, like I did with the um, uh, Allosaur, I killed the Allosaur, fresh blood in the air, the Argy came in because it could smell it, it could sense it. Not just that I killed it and the game is doing it ridiculous, no. Literally like it could see that being something that it could go after. Otherwise, everything would be in the area, you know? So, it's hard mode because I like the challenge. Resources, things like that. A lot of the things that would take like just a dumb amount of time, I was like, that just needs to be faster because obviously we're gonna do that. I just don't want it to take that long. It doesn't need to be that long. 
You know, it doesn't take me in real life that long to chop that down. So why would it take me that long in the game to chop that, that tree down? I see a yellow drop over there. We might go check that yellow drop out. We're gonna drop this female off over here at the base. If that drop is still there, we'll go check that one. I'm trying to find a drop that has one OP piece of armor. Something that's more than just 100. I need like 200 or 300, something like that. Or a weapon that does it. I'll take either or. And once I have that, I mean, I'll run around the whole map on foot if I have to. I have the boats, you know, like the battle barge is down there. I have another boat over there if I need to. But we'll stop here at the old base. Let's get her landed. Okay, good. She, uh, she landed before I could press it. This is good news. All right, let's check her numbers. 500 and 500, that's good. Weight is at 440. Okay, so she's not bad for a level 20, Arge. She's almost at 1,000 health, so she's a good nap. Color pattern is good. It is a good color pattern. She is a tri-colored Arge. She's got a nice little crest on her. I like it, I like it. This is good. Kind of greenish, a little bit. What do you think, Shug? That's a pretty good one, huh? That's a good one. So these two here, between the two, we're gonna get a crest for sure. We're gonna get most likely her pigmentation over top of this brown is what we're gonna get and we're gonna lose this white. What kind of feet we got here? Dark, dark, okay, cool. So that'll stay the same, so. Uh, this arc is, um, Vulgaro. This is the map Vulgaro that I'm on right now. So, I'm on, I'm on Vulgaro. But this is arc, just arc survival evolved. It's not modded or anything. I don't mod my games, so. Yeah, Vulgaro is, is nice. This is the seventh time that I've played through Vulgaro. So I've already played through it six times already. So this is the seventh time through. Um, I'm going to hop on the only two that I haven't done ever at all on ARC is Genesis 2, because I never jumped into it. There's just way too many people in there, and the servers were having issues. And I never did Extinction because I wasn't really too interested in it. But all the rest of the maps, I played the heck out of. I'm going to hop on Crystal Isles here for a second. And then I'm going to hop on a couple other ones. I'm just going to cycle through them. Because usually Mondays, if I have time, which today, you know, I have a little bit of time, I'm going to hop through and cycle through some of the maps. Got some different things that I want to do. On Ragnarok, when I hop back in, I have to take one of my main dragons. And I'm going to fly uh, back probably to Crystal Caves on there. Uh, the second dragon nest. And I'm going to go back inside the nest and see how my dragons are doing inside there. Because I left my bulky dragon inside there, one of the bulky ones that I want to actually breed with. So i got to pick that one back up. And then two of my lower level dragons in there. And the only reason I left them in is because the dragons keep spawning in the cave. I can't get them done, so... So... This... Wow, it's super foggy. Holy crap foggy on this one. I like this. So here's Midnight, my Arge on this one that I picked up. Awesome. Love this Arge. Looking good. Did you rename this one? No. <laughs> That's weird. I don't remember naming it. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about there. Uh, here's Aquarius. And then this is... Ladybird? I don't remember naming that one. Though. Anyways, we hatched, we bred the two, and then... Um, let's 
Zachar 17, I'll only just mention to you that if you want to be derogatory, I don't time out people, just so you know. I just ban them, because I have zero tolerance for it. So joking aside, if it becomes derogatory, I just ban. And that means you don't get to go on anybody's stream, just so you know, because I do moderate other people's streams, and I'll make sure you don't have access to anything. So let's not go that direction in, in chat, if you can. So on this particular one, Crystal Isles, which I enjoy this map, I didn't actually play through this one all the way the first time around. Um, when I went through here, the main thing that I was doing was exploring all the different combinations and trying to figure out the way that this map is. Because when you play Ark, each map has unique things that the map does to the game mechanics. And Crystal Isles, in particular, usually the maps, right, they have unique dinos as well. So on Crystal Isles, Basilisks, which are these sort of snake-like creatures, um, they suck. We'll just say that. They do not allow you any chance whatsoever. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, you're not going to make it. So we'll take stupid here with us. Follow me. Um, on Crystal Isles, obviously, in the namesake, there are crystals pretty much everywhere on the entire map. These crystals count differently than they do on other maps. You get rocks, and sometimes you get other stuff from them, depending on the coloration of the crystal itself. So there's all kinds of different colors, and there's all kinds of different sizes. So this entire valley, pretty much from everything that I can see right here, this whole valley, I've already cleared out everything that's bad here. There is no bad dinos anywhere in this entire valley. There are none. I've either tamed them, which you can see, the Rex and the Raptors are over here. The Carno and the other two Carnos that were here, I got rid of them as well. I got this Tech Raptor that was solo running here, all by itself, and tamed that one on a run, because this one was actually aggroed to something else. I don't know what, because it was in the middle of the night, so I couldn't see. All I could see was the glowing of this raptor, so I was like, well, what's my shot chances I might be able to do it? So I did. Um, but then stupid here, this raptor, male raptors are such a pain in the ass, but stupid here, he doesn't listen well with the rest of the other raptors, so he's been isolated from them. But we ran through, ran through this entire valley, me and stupid here, we got pretty much anything that was worthwhile. So all the drops, there's a couple of like battery cells, um, which are a little different. That drop down so you can recharge your tech if you do tech. I don't ever use tech in the game. I don't even use firearms. Crossbow's about the max firearm that I use, is a crossbow. Um, I don't use slingshots, it's not, not worth it. But the three main things in this space that's really cool is you'll get these little loot drops, which are like uh, like an upside down pyramid that'll just float down, not like the other drops that we were seeing on the other maps. Um, these are smaller, and they have different things in them. Sometimes you get lucky and you get some really cool stuff. Like I got, uh, I got the axe, ramshackle axe. This one's 139% weapon damage, but its harvesting capability is like one hit sometimes to a tree and the whole tree just comes down and you get maximum resources so you get you get lucky sometimes i'll run through this bronto and you find something really cool okay like look we got this idiot freaking carno over here we got work to do here stupid 
Uh, let's go with a uh, stamina boost. You ready? Let's go. He's trained. He's just not that smart. Come on. Circle around. There you go. You're making it. He's a little slow on the take. Push him back. Push him back. Good job. Good job. Eat him up. There you go. Stupid Carnals. Carnals weak spot is right in the chin. If you can get a pike and drive it right straight through their chest, you'll drop them. It's just that's the danger zone too, because they'll gore you with their stupid tusks, but or horns. Look like tusks, but. I need to increase his speed. That's what I need to do. I always patrol the valley. I always go around and make sure there isn't anything like that stupid carnal. Because what happens is they just mercilessly go through here and wipe out everything. Especially like him. He's solo running. He just mow everything down the whole valley for no reason. He's not hungry. He's just killing. There was an alpha carnal over here. I had to get real creative with taking him out. Which is why the base ended up being up here. Because I was like, I want to be here a bit. I had to shoot at him, come up here, come back down, shoot at him some more, go back up there, come back down. It was a pain in the butt. But we got him. Now I got dinos in here. A lot of tranodons. This one's cool. But they suck. They can't carry enough weight to be useful. Unless you want to fly around in your underwear, then you can... Then tranodons are great. They're the best. If you just want to fly around in your underwear, because you can't carry any weight on them. Pego Master. Eat him. Good. What'd he take, little bugger? Kleptomaniacs. Took my meat. Give me that back. Little. Things are always running all over the place. Thievens. Thievens. Yeah, that's what they are. Little pickpocketers. Alright, we're booking it. Long run. We gotta run all the way across this side of the map. But yeah, this map is... I like this one. Crystal Isles, it's nice. Looks cool. A lot of cool stuff. Decent dinos, uh, as far as range. A lot of the core dinos. You're coming? He's so slow. Is, can I level up your speed yet? I need to get his speed up. My speed is super high. The speed goes slow. He's at half weight. He doesn't ditch all this. He ended up getting a... Keep that. He got a pike. And a spear. I have a pike too. I don't care. Ditch that. Ditch that. Here, eat this prime meat. Don't let that go to waste. Alright, let's go. I'm going to try to get back to the other area. I need to get that tech raptor all the way back, too. Because I've got tech raptors at the other base. Because I have two bases on this. One on one side of the map and one on the other side. Uh, the second base, I ended up running into a ton of raptors. That pack that's back at where the Argies are at, that one was all together. It was like they were all there. And I just shot like crazy person and got them all dropped. I got headshots on them all. One Parasaur. Why don't you hunt that? Keep going. There you go. You got him. Good job. Now I'll just stand here. Very good. You did a good job there, Raptor. I'll change your name from stupid when you actually do it right every time. Alright, let's go. We're gonna run up this ridge. I know there's more dinos up here. See this big old honker? I got a cool ass drop. I ended up getting two of them. Massive. Right? Normally is only one, but I got two. That's a good sign. 
But I'll show you this thing over here, this recharge station. Then I gotta go down this other direction, but... If you have tech, you can come to this little recharge station here. Right? And it'll recharge your tech. Scissor. And then you're good. I don't have any tech, because I don't use tech, but... I'll use metal armor, because you can hammer out some armor, you can get some metal and put it into a fire and hammer it out, you can do that. But gunpowder, no. Unless I get it in a drop, I don't use it. If I get it in a drop, I'm not going to throw it away, but usually I don't use it. I'll end up giving it to my wife. She can use it. Cool looking turtle. Fire turtle. I need a crap ton of freaking narco berries is what I need. That's why I'm running over here. I want as much as possible. Swamp is... Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch out! Hey, there's an arch. You're in my shot range here. There you go, there you go. Shred him, shred him, shred him. Eat him up. There's an arch, like, literally right there. And a Carnosaur. Do I have... I have five Trank Arrows. Ooh, chat, chat, chat. We might have ourselves an Arge here. That is a decent looking Arge. We gotta take out this stupid Carnal first. Alright, stupid, get ready. He's gonna be pissed. I'm gonna try and shoot him right in the face. Here you go, here you go, he's all yours. Shred him. Okay, that orange is mine. I accidentally shot you because you stuck your face in there. That's your fault. That's not my fault. You did that. Oh, chat. This is just primo. Perfect shot. I'm so good. Alright. One arrow. We got ourselves an arge. Give me all this meat. That's fine. I shot it perfectly. I shot it directly in the neck, right above the shoulder, from behind. It didn't even know I was even there. Didn't even care. Usually I try to pop them under the wing if I can, but this is fine. There's nothing here either. It's a male, but the color pattern's good. find out what level it is. It looks fairly low, but let's see here, number-wise. Food's good, melee, same, torpidity's decent. So it's a decent arch. It's not, you know, it's level 14, but as soon as it eats, I bet you we're going to get some level bumps on it. I like the colors. I better pull that arrow back out. Ugh, it's waiting. Give me my arrow back. Can't get it. Can't push it over. It's too heavy. Stay right there. What do we got? Junk. Nothing good. Eat some delicious morsels. I'm going to put you down here. Don't get any ideas and eat my arch, or I will shoot you in the face. I'm going into this leech-infested water against my better judgment to see what's inside this drop. Better not get a leech on me. I will take that, and I will also take that, but I don't use parachutes. I'm dumb enough to fall from that height. Oh, baby. We got a prey in here. We got a gator.
That was close. He's got the advantage here, chat. <laughs> but I got lucky. He couldn't get a beat on me. He was trying. If he would have got a chomp on me, that would have been it. I would have been getting twisted and ripped to pieces because I am in his domain. Is there any more gators over here? I don't see any. Yeah, this is uh, not the best area, but what do you do? Alright, back to Arge. Let's give him some more goodies here. Some gator meat. He'll eat that. I have an RG saddle on me already. I was prepared for this. So, RG. Four rows regular, two rows prime. That's not bad. I would prefer a couple more rows of prime, but that's good enough. If you got a T-Rex, you need five and five, or ten of all one would be fairly good for anything up to 50th level. Once you get to 50th level, you need a lot more meat. They're extremely hungry. And the idea with putting the stuff inside there to tame them, you, you want to put in... You don't want to waste your time with narco berries and all that kind of stuff, because that just lowers your tame value. So you want to get a good shot and drop them quick, where they don't recognize you as a threat, if you can, so they don't get all stressed up. Or watch them and time the trank to where they're actually hungry. They're hunting, actively hunting, like this Arge was actively hunting. It was hungry. I watched it. It wasn't by anything. It was scooping around, looking for something to eat. I waited and then shot it perfectly. So, got a good shot. That's great. It happens. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Then I would have had to shoot it a couple more times. This level of Arge would have took three. Three arrows, typically, and it would have dropped it. A lot of people build, like, RG traps and all that kind of stuff. I don't waste my time with that. You have to be a specific level to be able to get an Arge. If you have to get the traps, you're not the right level. You're not going to get a good tame out of it. This one here, when it tames, when it takes its first little bite with all that good stuff in there, because we have exactly what it needs, it's going to give me a level bump, and it should say 100% taming effectiveness. If it doesn't, then we got to do a little hunting here, which there's Gallimimus and a bunch of other dumb stuff around here. We'll find some and feed it. Prime meat is optimal for predatory dinosaurs. So long neck dinos, a lot of prime meat there. Those sheep, they give you a ton. Um, yeah. The sarcos, they give you some prime. Not a lot, but some. Uh, sheep is the best. Uh, next after sheep is uh, Bronto, the big Bronto. And then you could do things like larger predatory dinos, like the Carnal gives you a ton. Um, Spinos give you a ton. Sarco, that's a decent sized predatory animal. Rexes, you can get a ton from them. Those dinos, most of those I prefer to tame. Spinos kind of a pain in the butt to get tamed. Uh, I usually don't tame Carnos unless it looks really cool. It's got to really impress me with its looks. If it doesn't impress me with its looks, I just kill them. Because uh, they don't need to be stomping around. They make a lot of noise and it's kind of annoying. Like these guys. You know, it runs around. Look at this, look at this hairstyle here. Look at this. Looks like a flamingo. He's got his hair all spiked back. Get out of here, you little bugger. There. Send him over that way. That way I can actually hear if something bad is making its way towards us. You're doing good, stupid. Yeah, you haven't messed up yet, surprisingly. This freaking raptor. Yeah, Gallimimus. Now, if you take their egg, they're not scaredy cats. They come after you and bonk you. They chase you down and try to bite your butt. They run fast, like an ostrich, so... Just keep checking, making sure there isn't anything over here trying to sneak over. 
So we need to go this direction. We're kind of moving our way up this ridge. I need to go right towards the edge of this area. And then we'll go back towards the... What was that? I see something. What is that? Mushroom? Can't pick it up though. Maybe I can. Look at that. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh wait, 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 wait. We got trubs here. We got trubs. Come here, big boy. <clears throat> right in the face. Notice how I duck like this? There's a reason. So when he jumps, I time it perfectly. I duck and thrust at the exact same time. So that his body weight runs right into my spear. And I'm right out of his range when he tries to hit me. Little bugger. He broke my gauntlets. Oh well. Oily looking, glittering gold. Glitters even in the light. Invigorating. I'm eating it. What is it doing to me? Nothing. Now these black, moonless, midnight, narco mushrooms. That's what I'm for here, right? These are the aquatic ones. These rehydrate you. A little bit of meat. I will put this one down here in case I need a snack. Wait a minute. See if we can find some more. Because this is where I came when I grabbed them up the last time. I was trying to get those black mushrooms. Because it's like super OP. Gives you a ton. I might have picked them all. There's a big old frog. Poisonous, of course. What else we got? I think I got them all. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look at here, chat. Shroomies. We got them. We got them. Let's go back and see how the old orange is doing. Sometimes you get lucky and you find like a really good metal deposit too. And I'll grab those if they're worthwhile. How's the orange doing? Still tranked. I shot it perfect in the jugular, so we gotta wait a minute here. Alright, how do we do? 23. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Can I just make a mortar and pestle right now? Sure, we can. But I can't place it on anything but the actual foundation piece. So I need to get some material. We'll build a little dookie shack footprint here. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, fiber. I need some fiber. How much do I got? 74. We'll make some trank arrows. That way we got some more. I have 15, which is good. Not bad. But just in case we find some more RGs, be useful. I want to take and get One's not in the bloodline, because I already bred the other ones, so. Alright. RG. See, chat? We know what we're doing here. This will be called what? Uh, Alright, chat? What do you want to call this Arge? It's like got a kind of a... Crimson... Maroon color to its feathers. What do you think, chat? What do you want to call this Arge? Something cool. Go ahead and post it in chat. I'll give you guys a sec. You can name the Arge. Nah. My Arges never die. Arges are OP. He'll be alive forever. Right, Arge? Spade, do you think? We got a few people in chat, so we'll let it. We'll let 
the names pop in for a bit. How many do I get here? About 50 when I, when I do it. That's not bad. 50 is good. Yeah, that's what I said. What are we going to name it? <laughs> so, ideas. What do you think? This Arge in particular is like a red, um, like a deep red color. A little bit of brown on it. Other than that, it's a male Arge. What do you think you want to call it? I'm taking suggestions from chat. We'll name it something cool. Crimson? Okay, so we got Spade, we got Crimson. If you want, we can wait until the light comes out here. It, it'll be here shortly. And then you can take a real good look at it and think of what you, what you might think. Yeah, so we'll give it a, we'll give it a sec. Daylight will be popping up here, and then you can really get a good look at it. I'm going to build a little dookie foundation here so I can put this mortar and pestle down. And make some more trank arrows here real quick. Okay. We'll get these trank arrows going. That way, if we see another Arge, we'll have more than enough, just in case. Alright, mushrooms. Rotten meat. And narco berries. Six trank arrows. Okay. These narco berries are a pain in the butt on this map. I'll tell you that much. You find more of those uh, mushrooms than you do narco berries. You pick it and you get like two. You have hundreds and hundreds of pounds of other berries, but no narco berries. There was this weird looking bush looking thing that was like. Uh, Kind of like triangle and sort of red colored uh, that was in the swamp. Those were given a ton of narco berries on it. But like I said, each map has got a unique, a uh, unique feature to it, and they do things a little different on each one. So it takes a little bit of learning. Sometimes you gotta figure it out. Here's your saddle arch. So there's an extra 25 armor for you. And let's level up the health. I go health to 1,000 first. Then I go down and I do stamina to 1,200. Then I go down to weight and I do weight up to 2,000 if I can. Then I just go back and I just keep pumping everything into the uh, health until I get health up to about 3,000. It won't take long. I gave it tons of prime meat and tons of regular meat. It'll just keep eating and as I move it'll gain tons of XP. Argies are super good. Just based off of how much uh, usefulness that they have, because they have all they have all metal, they have all stone. So when you put that into their inventory, it's only half of that weight. And they're basically a mobile workstation. You can do everything that you need on them. And again, you know, it's an arch. You know, I'm a little heavy for it, but it still can fly. A little bit of flying with it. And I usually do a little maneuvers. Like, we'll pop through here. Nope, I didn't name it yet. We're gonna get it into the sun where we can see it good. I'm gonna pop it right in this little... Right here. Perfect. It's got really good wing color pattern. It's like, almost like striped. It's super dark red. Not sure what the color is on its forehead there. I think it's like a yellow color, but... The sun is coming from that direction, so as soon as it pops up here, we'll get a good view of the color. I'll try to get it to turn its head. 
so we can get a real good color choice. Yeah, basically 70 health every time I hit it. Once he gets to like level 30, he'll start leveling up even faster. Argy's level so good. So good. And he listens well. A very good listening skill. Okay, it looks like it's kind of a green yellow color for his forehead. So let's get him to turn him a little, turn a little more, a little more. There you go. Perfect. Now let's change the behavior here. Attack target. I always put Arj on neutral. It will only do what hits it. Follow distance, I put low. And then I always put target range high. So when I whistle, I can get him to come back. Everything else, I don't worry about anything else. I whistle all commands to my RGs if I need them to do something. All right, so there we go. Color, looking good. Do a little pan around. Looks like we've got a little bit of the color pigment under, underneath the feathers also. Just a little bit under there. It's pretty nice. Got a little crest on them. Sun is just barely coming around the corner. So there's the Arge. So we had Spade and we had Crimson. Anybody else have any suggestions for name for the Sarge here? So we'll, we'll do a little vote. One, two, yeah, he's three colors. He's tricolor, orange. Almost four colors, actually, if you really think about it. Yeah, his, head is his head's like got, a, yeah, it's got a little bit of a green there. So, yeah, right. So, we got Spade or Crimson. Those are the two. So, in chat, uh. How about Crimson Spade? Yeah, S for spade and c for crimson everybody in chat go ahead and if you are if you want to participate the two names. just vote once pop one of them in chat because i'm streaming from the ps4 i'm not on the computer so i can't do much on here as far as creatively so that's about as creative as it'll get c or s <laughs> yeah, right, everyone. <laughs> so, if nothing, that's fine. So, Crimson and Spade. Hmm. Let's see. S. Okay, we got one S. <laughs> it does have a really cool front crest on it. <laughs> He's got a good red color. It's very nice. Under feathers. Yeah, Crimson is pretty good. What do you think? Spade strong. It is strong. Just combine the two names. Yeah, I guess we could combine the two. Let's see. Oh, Google, my little buddy. Let's see here. Alternative words. Let's 
see if there's any other different spellings. Okay, okay. Yeah, the wifey's there. Yeah, she's always watching you play Ark. She likes watching Ark. We'll look for alternatives for Crimson. It's kind of like making a name for an NPC character on tabletop RPG. Okay, so... Mm, let's see. Hello. Spade. Alright, so... Name is Spadson. <laughs> Spade and Crimson mixed together. Good enough. <laughs> Alright, can I make the two of these? He's not gonna keep up with the Sarge. Maybe he can. Let's try. Can you keep up, stupid? Oh, he's moving. Alright, let's go. He's moving. Alright, we're booking. Taking the ridge. Arge isn't that fast yet. But we're making a level. Gotta go cross country. Through the valley. Yeah. I named mine Raptor Stupid because he doesn't behave well enough. I've tried training him, but he is not the best being trained. What he needs is a good shovel clunk right in the forehead, and that'll straighten him out. I had him in a situation where I was like, you're on your own, you, you gotta figure it out. We literally ran chasing a stupid freaking Gallimimus for what seemed like forever. And I was like, seriously, you can't catch that thing? You can't outsmart it? It's like, why? I think the Arge can fly faster if I'm on foot. We're gonna be very careful with this. Both of you, up and at him, let's go. Keeping the eyes open. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me see here. How close are we to the base? We need to go across the ridge, or if we wanted to get creative, we could probably clear that. Because I want to get stupid down to the other raptors. Let's just drop them off. If I go straight, I can island hop. So we gotta go straight this way. Just making sure you two are coming. Got it. Parkour and oh, 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 look at me here, chat. Mushrooms. Ooh, the mother load. Give me these mushrooms. We'll have enough narco now. These actually give you enough. Trying to find freaking narco berries is like, what is happening? I literally picked stupid bushes on here for what seemed like three and a half hours. Because it was three and a half hours. And I only had barely a hundred narco berries. 
And it's five narco berries every time. Five. For every single arrow. What a pain in the butt. So it wasn't enough. It was enough to get the racks, the raptors, and the two arge. And then I was pretty much tapped out. I had 15 left. There's a couple more mushrooms down there, but I'm gonna cautiously move through here. We got one Carno, which I'm avoiding completely. Because I have the Arge. And I'm not risking the Arge. So let's go. We're gonna have to run through the swamp, which I'm not too happy about. I'm gonna get leeches on my Sackus, so I can tell you right now that's gonna happen. I'm calling it. Chances of making this. Not great. We're taking the upper ridge, let's go. And circling around. We make it up here. Oh yeah. Perfect. Straight through here. There's gonna be a Rex. I'm just gonna tell you right now. Because that thing's been chomping around over here and he's mad. I shot at least a hundred trank arrows into him. It didn't do nothing. Frickin' raptor. I thought it was the Rex. I almost just threw my controller right down. More mushrooms, but I'm gonna save them for now. Is that a Pegomastix? Nope, Dilophosaur. We could kill that, but it's alright. We'll just make it through here, get to the base, drop off stupid, hop on the arch. Wait, 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 we got Dilophos. We got copies too. Kill them! Jeez, we're just standing there. Do something. Eat them. Chomp them up. We're at the Deadwood Swamp here. We're gonna take the edge, and we're not going through the middle of it. There's leeches in there the size of my leg. They're gonna suck me out like freaking beef jerky. Arge? Yeah, stay close. You and stupid. Oh, Tronodons. Frick. I hate those things. Yeah, relax. Alright, let's go. Punch it. Just casual. Yeah, I'm not worried. Rexes don't scare me. Tronodons, like those little bastards, those things I hate. Tronodons, no good. Tronodons, they're worse than a raptor. Okay, we're doing good. Lots of mushrooms here. Tech Parasaur, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this water here is fine. This is crystal clear. Love this water. No leeches in here. I don't have to worry about checking my bits or nothing. The Tronodons in single player. I, I think Tronodons are non-tameable now. They changed it. Ah, uh, because that would just be way too OP. You can you can tame a Compi in single player, um, but Tronodons are off limits. Multiplayer, you can do uh, Tronodons, but not uh, single player. All right, we got to go for a little swim here. Not liking it. Maybe we just book it around the other side. I was thinking we could just go... What's in this water? All right, we'll brave it. Yeah, single player... There's Baryonyx, I knew it. Frick. Single player is a lot different than multiplayer, I'll tell you that. PvP, the mechanics for PvP and the mechanics for single player, not the same. Not even anywhere close. They're so much different. I would say they're 80% different. They might have the same visuals as far as some of the stuff, 
but they're not the same uh, as far as gameplay. There's a lot of different mechanics at work on PvP and single player. <gasps> lucky with that one. He didn't open- oh! There's another two snakes! Frickin' titan balls. Get that bug! Bite him! Jump up! Hard health! Okay, he's up, he's up, he's up, he's up. Relax, relax. Closer. Lots of mushrooms, Dilophosaur. Cautiously move, cautiously. Because there's going to be a basilisk pop out, and I know it. I'm not geared up for basilisk. Let's get an arrow tranked on this thing. You want to kill this thing, or are you just going to let him eat me? Eat them. They're Dilophosaurus. You guys got this. I'll take care of this one. That's about all I'm gonna do. You guys gotta learn how to kill. Get them. You're on protection mode here. There you go, there you go. You're doing it. Finally. Jeez. I know why they're attacking me. I got those stupid freaking aggro mushrooms. Get out of here, aggro mushroom. Now... Okay, we're good. We need to go basically straight through this. Alright, let's go. Arge, Raptor, let's go. Move it quick. Look at the size of these mushrooms. Big old toadstools. This is risky. I did not blaze the trail through this yet. I'm gonna get a leech on my... Yeah, I'll go this way. And then be cautious. No leeches, no leeches, no leeches, no leeches. Come on, get out of the swamp water. There you go. You did it. Okay. Perfect. There's the red forest. And we need to go right over this hill. We're almost there. Base I built over here. It's good. It is a good one. Come on. Jump. Don't touch those ants. Keep it going. Are you off tomorrow? Base is just up ahead. From here over, I cleaned out everything, so there's nothing here. All of this stuff is taken out. And the other section over there, there was nothing but stupid basilisks, like, everywhere. Basilisks, basilisks, basilisks. I had to get real creative on how I took them out. Wasted a lot of arrows. I did good on the base for this one. Put the base here in a good spot. Built the little bridge. Got all my raptors over here. There. Alright girls, I brought you a boyfriend. There he is. What a unique specimen. See this? Pink and everything. He's just Mr. Fancy Pants here. Alright, up top Arge. Gotta drop off some stuff. Alrighty. Narco arrows. Mushrooms. Plunk. And I already got tons of rotten meat. 17. Good enough. Better than nothing. So it'll give us 18 more. So, 30 arrows. That's good. At least 30 trank arrows. That's what I like to carry. Bare minimum.
park it. Yeah, so this is what this map looks like. Crystal Isles. It's a pretty cool map. Now that I got the RGs, I can get airborne and take a good aerial look at it and try to find some really cool spots. I checked out the volcano, I tried looking around to see if there's any dragons or anything there, but I couldn't find anything that I was really looking for that I was happy with, you know? So, we're back at base, we have the Arge. Let's hop on the island for a second. I think I'm over by Carno Island, taming a T-Rex on that one. So we'll stop over there for a second and see if that Rex is tamed yet. The frickin' thing has been taken an ungodly amount of time. I hit it with so many Trank Arrows. It sucks. After that, um, we'll check the center. And then we'll go to Scorched Earth, and then we'll hop on Ragnarok again. And then I might maybe... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll hop off and hop a different game on. We'll see. I'm kind of actually hungry. It is 1 a.m. I didn't eat yet, so... kind of hungry. I won't be going to bed for a while, I know that. I'm not... I never sleep, it seems like. Yeah, I have a Discord too. I think I linked the Discord on my, uh, on the Twitch there, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have to eat something. Check out this Arge. Now this is an Arge. I found this one. This is, of all the color patterns of the arches that I got, this one right here is pretty high up there. There's only one other one that I ever had that was awesome. Yeah, I'm on Carno Island. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely on Carno Island. I built a base in a very unique location. See that stupid Rex down there? I've been trying to get this thing to get up. I, you can see I have a lot of Rexes. I got an albino one. I got a white striped brute. I got another white striped brute. I got two basic uh, Rexes, both color patterns. Um, yeah. The spawn that I got on here after I killed the tech Rex, color patterns for these RGs, man. Primo. I got Captain America. He's setting back at the base, and my base is just off the shore here, up from Carno Island. But the reason why Carno Island, the cave's right here on Carno Island. And going inside there to get that artifact is always, a, what a pain. I can't get the Argies in because you got to swim through water to get down to it. So i got to take raptors, because there's the only thing that can swim under the water, and the only thing that can fit through the front door. So I took a pack of raptors in there. And then it's like, uh, yeah, this cave sucks. But I got in. I got in. No problem. I took the raptors in. We're good. Killed all the bats. Made my way. Worked my way down. Was doing real good. Everything was cool. Everything was fine. Spiders for the bastards. Frickin' spiders. Just what the heck? There were so many. I was like, I'm for sure going to die. So I was like, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to whistle the command of the raptors and send them down. Well, most of the raptors were not trained raptors. I got them from here. So I never took them on a hunt or nothing. I was just kind of pushing the game, we'll say that. So untrained raptors, I just put them on aggressive, and I just released them. And what a mess that was. Because I had everything in that whole freaking place coming <coughs> after me. I was like, I'm not going to make it. I ended up getting hit... And I fell, webbed, they webbed me, and something hit me and I couldn't move, so I couldn't parkour my way. I fell all the way down to the bottom, landed on top of the artifact, died instantly, of course, because the fall was just too far. But, oh, it suck. Yeah, yeah. Now, the sucky part is, is if I do the, do the um, cryos, Every time that I do it in single player, they all have cryo sickness. Cryo sickness happens immediately. Now, if I'm doing PvP, hey, cryo works great. But in single player, not the greatest. It sucks. 
The way that I have the settings on here, I think, is part of it, because I have the settings set specifically for other stuff, and it's affecting the cryo, which I told the developers that I know which one it is, I know which settings is doing it, to try to see if they could fix it, and it's going to be a little bit. I'm sure it's going to be after the Halloween event, because I even tried it again on, on another one, and it still doesn't work. So I reset this whole thing. What are you looking for? My stomach pill? Not down here. It is in your bag. All the ones we had is in your bag. I didn't see it in the bag. It should be in your bag. It's inside the pouch on the left. That's where I put it for you. Um, so I wish I could use it because I would go inside there with like uh, the arge. Just put the arge in it. That's all I need. Yeah, wild card. Yeah, I sent it to him. The devs. They they do really good. I mean, I've played so many t so much time on this. Whenever I send something to them, yeah, emailed them. Yeah, they contact me back. Yeah. They didn't realize that it was doing that, but I play so much on this game. Like I find all the little dumb things in here that you know, it's like, what is this? You know, why is it doing this? Or I find a little location that they forgot to put uh, a poly through. And you'll get stuck in it and you can't move. And you're like, well, this is dumb. I can't get out. And every time I reset it, it won't respawn me. My only option is to die. And so then I was like, well, this doesn't count towards a death in the game. Because I'm not I'm not the reason why this is happening. So, yeah. So they go in and fix it. But every time I've ever had a, a, a thing where I said, hey, there's an issue. I just let them know what it is. Tell them exactly where it is. I do a screenshot or give them the precise of it. And then they go in and they fix it. But now they're kind of like doing it like once every month. They do a, um, like a scan through and they kind of see what all the coding is because when the game saves on here, you might not know, but you're on, if you're doing uh, solo and you're not running it on your own server, the developers will pick up pings from certain things and the computer system they have will actually scan across all the gameplay. And it'll look for um, errors or lag moments in there where the game uh, had a specific duration of time. It's like uh, it's encoded for a, a software scan. When they do that, um, that helps a lot to keep the game in pristine condition. That's why ARC has survived as long as ARC has, because they pay attention to not only if a person says, hey, there's this issue on this one point, but also doing server and game scans from gameplay so as you're playing when things pop up they're finding out about it you'll get it you'll get an update you know I the last update that happened uh, there's the tech again uh, the last update that happened ooh, look at all these arches this is a hot little situation happening here We've got a couple rexes a couple raptors they took them out two carnos Two arges, and I'm not sure what that other thing is. Look like a raptor. Those arges are gonna shred that, Carno. You're dead, Carno. You got another arge coming. Um, the last update that they did uh, was uh, texture coatings, because the texture codes were taking too long to load up. So they sped that along really well. Let's do this real smooth. Snaked it. What's my chances? Chances are good. Let's be quick about it. Oh, it's stupid. Stop. Arge? Arge. You're gonna get us killed here. Up. Oh. Job. I'll shred them. Kill all of them. They don't know who they're messing with here. Got them. Um, the texture coatings that they did here. I mean, like, look at look at the Arge's feathers as an example. They did a really nice job with it. You're stupid, cat. This is not a normal art. 
This is my art. Right? Level 55. Nothing crazy. Everything's good. He levels up like a madman. Those are all basic arges. No mutations whatsoever. Um, the next update that they're going to do should be the 28th. And it will be the holiday event. Yeah, they reply. I've never had an issue. I send, a, I send an email and I get a reply right away. Usually within about 14 hours or so. Not even a whole day. Yeah, I got a lot of time on this game. Which is part of the thing that I do. I mean, it's like my job is to make things work and flow efficiently. I help a lot of game designers do stuff for games. Part of my job. Yeah, they don't mess around. Probably because I'm on here so much. I might, I'll might, i be on here when people probably aren't on here. And when I send a message and say, Hey, there is this thing at this location, and can you take a look at it? They take a look at it. Like I said, never had an issue. I used to play... Uh, a game called Black, which is a first-person shooter game. Look at all these stupid scorpions. We're going to take care of this with these Rexes. Um, Black was awesome. And on that game, there's a couple issues that popped up, and the developers for that game I never had an issue with them either. We're going to take these Rexes on a little walk here. Earlier today I was helping a book designer, author, uh, get their world base set up. They're having a hard time figuring out how to do their interlocking thing. Kill this. There you go, boys and girls. Now, follow. We got a hot mess here. You gonna bite him? Bite him. Bite him. All of them. Kill him off. Oh, looky. Old sleepy face finally woke up. You know, you took forever. Come on. Jeez. Take my pack of Rexes here. Let's go on a little walk here. I'm poisoned. But that's fine. Let's take a look at these RGs here. Walk off or I'm walking saber off. Tooth. Saber tooth. Shred them, boys. Girls. Where's the other Rexes at? A little slower. Come on. There you go. You got it. Slow Rexes. And this isn't all of them. I have more Rexes at the other base. About as many as I got right here. Ooh. Bug. There we go. Here's where we need to be. Alright, Rex. Kill this. Come on. We got a couple of Carnos over here to kill too. We're gonna clean the island out. You just ran into a locomotive of Rexes there, Carno. Good luck. Here's the other two. Come on. Eat him. Yeah, don't let him get over near me. Eat him. Eat him up. Bite him. Eat this. Eat this. No? I don't know. I'll chop it up. I'll check and see. Could be something good. Get rid of all this junk. Get rid of that. I have no 
those shoes. All right, come on, Rexies, let's go. The trick is going to be trying to get these guys back without letting them get ate by the sharks and everything else that's out there. That's going to be the suck. I know, I see him. He's coming. Kill him. Look at Red. Get him. Bite his face. There you go. Now you gotta bully him. Bully him in the corner. Wait, 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 uh, wait. Ours? No, that's not ours. That is not ours. No, we don't know this Rex. Yeah. I can't hear you. What was that? I can't hear you over my Rexes walking. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would like to get out of these Rexes, the white one, the red one, and the one with the ridge on its back. At least those ones back across. If I can get those ones across, I'm happy with that. I need them to breed. Alright, let's go back. Let's grab this drop. Stupid saber. Look, he's gonna look at me. Come on. Get wrecked right in the mouth. Don't even touch me. I'll leave the other one there. Don't wanna wipe out the species. Couple raptors, looks like. Rexus. Pause. I gotta go get this. Stay there. This better be a good drop. What is this? Mammoth saddle? Okay, I'll take that. It's metal sign? I don't want to start junk. What do I need a metal sign for? Alright, Rexus. We got a Carno. Come on. And some raptors. I'm not too concerned with the raptors. They're not going to make it anyways. Bring it. Kill this Carno. Just broke his neck. Just snapped it right back. Let's get this one too. Oh, 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 we got some trouts, we got some trouts. Take the Carno out. The Carno. Now you'll get everybody else. Easy, easy, easy. There you go, there you go. Good job. Oh, he got me. Stung me in the butt. Cool, Harge. Alright. What is this? Meeting of the Arges over here or what? What the frick? A whole pack of raptors. There's like a hundred... What is happening here? I could trank some of these. I want that white one. You're not going to be able to get it without the... They're going to go after it because you're shooting it. They're gonna just, this is just a hot mess. Just go in there and kill whatever you wanna kill. Go in there, boys. Mow it all down. Mow it all down. Savers, everything. Eat it all. Everything. There you go, you're all leveled up. All right, and stop. The reason why I'm doing that is because I wanna get them enough health, right? and enough speed that they can actually make it across without dying. That is the goal. So that should be enough. Because I want to get them all the way across there. Yeah, it's my support group. <laughs> you 
should see how many dragons I oh 19 that's just delicious my dragons um, are gonna be so happy Yeah, I got you. Oh, no, he was talking about me. Because he wanted to get that RG, and I knew those records were going to go after him. Oh, I know. That's a given. That's what I meant. Yeah, that's for sure. That is for sure. across. Alright, give me some... Gotta climb through all these little chicken legs here. And see how I'm doing some of the wrecks so they can do it. Yeah. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll make it. I know we'll make it. I just want to guarantee the ones that I really want to get across there. Because I'm going to swim it. I'm not taking the boat. I'm going to put the arch on aerial, which I normally wouldn't do. Um, just in case I got to bail and help the Rexes. Because if there's something out there, I'm going to bail and help the Rexes. Yeah, I know. It depends on what they chomp. We did some serious chomping, that's for sure. Alright, who else doesn't have levels? I think I got everybody. There's a lot of legs I gotta climb through here. Move your big foot! Jeez, I can't get through. There you go. Jeez. Alright, good job, good job. I'm not doing a nighttime swim, that's for sure. Look at this arge right here. It's a now, good if it arch. was black with red wings like that, that'd be If impossible. it was black with red wings, I'd be getting the Rexes out of here right now and doing it myself. <laughs> He's gonna attack me, but that'll be his demise. I'm not even moving. He pecked me and then thought about it after. But it was already too late. His decision was made for him. All right, Arge. I'm not leaving you here, that's for sure. I got a bunch of Argies at the base, and I got a bunch of Argies at the other base too. But we are abandoning Carnal Island momentarily here. I'm gonna go get this drop. So as soon as the day crests, the Rexes are going for a swim. We are going to. Swim back to shore, back to our base. So I'm gonna have to do a little loop around and make sure that we are taking the path that has the best chance of them making it across. Megalosaurus. Okay. And a decent decision. Okay, I'll take it. So we've cleaned the island out yet again. Leveled up everything. Let's go with weight. Punch it back to the Rexes. Do a little scan here. Alright, so originally I went to that island and then I swam straight across, but that stupid thing is out there. So I might have to do a little bit of a different swim here. I want to take the one where there's actually like some rocks and stuff. That is the plan. We got an Arge. Two Arges. It's kind of chilling. Of course, it's raining. This game, sometimes. It'll be raining, it'll be dark. 
I can't see nothing. It'll do a spawn right when I'm halfway through everything and a bunch of stuff will be there. Even though I just cleaned out everything. Yeah, I'm gonna just, uh... I think the speed on all of them is enough, but Rex is in the water, not great. I wish I had something else. I tried taming the dolphins, that's why I got this fish meat on me, but... I couldn't tame them. They weren't having it. They're finicky. I have no... I do. Yeah, the Rexes, they... They don't swim too good. Yeah, I was thinking about doing a boat. I was definitely thinking about a boat. I know what's going to happen if I do a boat. That whale's going to show up and bust the boat all up. Because that's what he did on the other side of the thing. Scared the crap out of me, because I forgot that he was on this map, too. But I tricked him last time. I made two boats. I went out as far as I could, dropped the boat off. Then I got on another boat and I waited until he came over and was by that boat, and then I just took off. And he was busy with that boat. Yeah, I know, I've never seen him by Carno Island either, but look what I have. Some Rexes and some nice stuff, and this game has a tendency to take things away from me. It doesn't let me keep any of the cool stuff. That's why I gotta play so many hours of it. It's like, oh, you got some cool Rexes? How about the giant Moby Dick Whale and have him destroy your boat and kill all your Rexes? Because he's gonna summon all these sharks here. I can see it happening. It's happened before. This is the fifth time I've been to Carno Island. Cleaning house and got all the cool stuff. So, hopefully, the game's not going to screw me over. Now, I'm on a good Arge here, too. So, if it kills this Arge, because this Arge is going to try to aggro to stuff. If this Arge gets killed, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to delete the map and start over again. That's what's going to happen. No question. I will absolutely delete it. Because I'll be pissed. And I won't come on it for a bit, and then I'll have to come back into it. Because I can't not play ARC. Because I, li I like playing. Even if it junks me. But I have a cool... Yeah, rage quit. You got it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll rage quit it. And then I'll be on a different map. And then what I'll do is I'll go, No, I can't live with it. I can't live in the world with my cool stuff dead. And I'll delete the map and start over from scratch. I don't want to. Because I have a cool base over there on the other side of this island that I built. And I went right to the bad spot, right off the bat. Purposefully. Normally I don't, but purposefully I did. And I got rewarded. I got cool Arge. And I got a couple other cool things, so... All right, Rexes. Circle up. Let's go. Down the beach. They're coming. I wait for molasses here. So I'm gonna name that one. He's freaking slow. All right. Here we go, chat. We're gonna try to get these Rexes back to my base. It's a dolphin. I see his little shadow. This might actually be to my benefit with it raining like this. What is this Rex? Is this my Rex? No. There's no chance that's my Rex. It doesn't sound like it's my Rex. You're gonna try to tangle with my Rexes? You're dead. So is the Raptor. Push him. Bully him. Push him back. Don't let him talk smack to you like that. There you go. Yeah, look around. Anybody else? Nothing. Alright. Got this carnal here. Get rid of him, too. He's a white carnal. Where's he going? He's gonna go eat that raptor. Alright, good. He's chosen wisely. Alright, here's the problem. We gotta make it directly across that. Let's go. 
Come on. Come on. This sucks. All right, going straight. No jellyfish. There's jellyfish. Frick. This way. Steer right. Hard right, boys. There you go, there you go. Okay, all is well. No jellyfish. Swim, swim, swim! Swim, boys! Damn it. Come on! We're gonna lose molasses. Oh well. Come on, come on, swim it. Molasses is gone. See you, molasses. He took it for the team. That's why I gave him the most health. Look at he's like, wait for me, guys. He's never gonna make it. He's dead. My Arge isn't gonna make it either. Come on, Arge. Come on, Arge. Yeah, molasses is dead for sure. They'll zap him and kill him. But I he had to die. There was no chance. Swim, Rexus. Swim. Swim fast. I'm gonna come back in the water and help you, if the game would allow me to. There we go. Alright, I'm going in. Checking their little feetsies. Swim. We lost one Rex, and that was fine. We anticipated one loss. I had to have one just slow enough. So, alright. We did it. We did it, chat. We managed to get the herd of Rexes across. Now, our base is this way. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna have to swim across this water up here also, but that's alright. We got all the good Rexes. Yes. Success. That's careful planning is what that is. The Rex was just looking at us like, why? It's like you... You what were the slowest Rex. Well, it is sad. I didn't want him to die. But the stupid freaking jellyfish spawned in. See over there? Jellyfish, see him? I knew they were there. Now I can see Carno Island from our base. Is it the other direction? Yeah, yeah I suppose. Pause. Pop off. Take a glance. Did I mark it? I did not mark it. It is on that point right there. That's where I put the base. So I need to swim across that. Crap. Alright, that's alright. We'll do it up here a little farther up the river, where there's no jellyfish. Right here. Just salmon here. You guys can handle some salmon, can't you? Swim across this. You can make it. You can make it. Over to here. I'm keeping an eye out for jellyfish. Little bastards. I hate them jellyfish. They remind me of those stupid water scorpions on Ragnarok that you can't freaking kill. Because they move outside of your targeting range. One, two, three, four, five, six rexes. Is that right? What is he doing? What, what, what are you guys doing? Who cares about the piranhas? Come on. We've got things to do here. Yeah, the water scorpions on Ragnarok are dumb. Because they move outside of the targeting range every time you try to shoot them. Every time. There's no question about it. Every single time they move. I told them that. It's like, you know... Come on, Rex. Yeah, they do fly. On land, they fly a little bit. They suck. 
that's for sure. I hate them with an absolute passion. They caused me to have to rethink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Viking Bay, I, I, the only reason that I even went to Viking Bay is because I had a, a, a friend over there on Viking Bay. Yeah, it's but I have it set to 720p. So, you can see how bad the internet is here at this time. But also, the game servers, where I'm at, they have to, they're doing a reboot right now. I can tell, just that's why I keep pausing and going slow. Because the game is having a hard time. It's glitchy a little bit. It's the map, it's the island. There's a lot of people coming online and hopping on to the server at this point also, so. It's a little glitchy. We're only going to get the Rexes back to the base, which is just right over here on this. I built my base in this cool spot over here, so. Then we'll hop on Ragnarok. I got to do some killing, so. Yeah. You'll see the other cool the stuff I got here. Resources. Yeah, this Viking Bay, I built my base there for two reasons. Uh... The first reason is because one of my friends was streaming art uh, on his stuff. Yeah, we'll eat. I, I got some stuff made. It won't take long to do that. Um, I walled off all of Viking Bay with Spike Wall all the way around it so those stupid water scorpions had to stay in the water. So that was the first thing I did. The second thing I did is I built a base on the rocks down there because I was trying to show my friend who streams, Connor IGL and Connor IRL, basically. Um, Connor on his channel. I was showing him how to go and get the dragons uh, and then get back and hatch them and showed him how to do all that stuff. So I was teaching him how to do that. Um, and the best way to do that is where he ended up spawning in was Viking Bay, which is the most absolute hot trash area that you can spawn in on Ragnarok. It sucks there. On Ragnarok, the best location is the waterfall. That is the best. Because of the number of resources that's there and the ability to make a base. So you can see my Rexes. See? That's my color pattern that I got going right now. White. Three of them. Then I've got some of the basics and I got a red one. But now we're gonna add this delicious, delicious pack of goodness here into this mix. It's gonna be great. So we have a herd now of Rexes. Now, I have a Carno in there. One little Carno. Where is it? Right here. Just kind of chilling in the mix. Thinks it's a T-Rex. It doesn't know any different. It, it thinks it's one of these guys. Walks around like them. Talks trash like them. I got this little kleptomaniac here that we kept. This is bait. I use it in case I need to. On the other side of this, there is three RGs. They're awesome. And I want all three of them, but I didn't have enough time to do what I needed to do with it, so I said I will wait. Now, in my little tower here, I parked the other RG. So I got RG, RG, right? This is my typical base. My wife's character is here too. Hello. Doing some yoga. She's practicing her yoga, morning yoga. Boink. Now this is the other Arge. My baby. This is pretty much the coolest female Arge ever. It's like highlighter. It's nice. Perfect color pattern distribution. I just named it yes because this one I got a heck of a headshot and it didn't even have a chance it dropped immediately um, it was really good that is full mutation 
which on solo play does not happen very often. Typically on solo play, your chance of getting a mutation like these two that I got, like that one down there and this one. Oh my god, I thought I was going all the way over the cliff. Did you see how stupid that was? How it made me jump that far distance? Are you joking me right now, game? This controller. All I did was move to the side. Anyways, before the game tried to literally kill me instantly. The chances of this happening with a mutation like this in solo play is not very high. Less than 5%. Yeah, well, if you do not name the dino, it doesn't level as fast and it doesn't tame as well. You know what I mean? So when you're tra training it, like this RG here, has never been done. Flies great, stops great, and does everything. I have not changed anything about it as far as its name is. It's the same as it was when I had it. But I am going to name this one. I just have to think of a really cool name. I need to get all of these RGs. I like the color of his feet. Oh, I know. Its feet are OP orange. I'm talking the magicalness. Now, what, what yours up there was female, right? Wasn't it? Is this one female, too? Male. Yeah, male. We need to breed these two RGs together. Well, I don't want to do it here. They're, we're going to have to take them somewhere else. RG eggs won't hatch here, anyways. So, the risk. We need to get all these guys, everyone here at this base, this base is being abandoned. We need to get them all back to the other base. Which is... Where is the home? No, it's in the swamp. Because we're way up here. You think it's where it's at home? Is that the swamp? No, that is where it is, yeah. That is actually correct. So we need to get, we need to trek them. We're not taking the ice way. So we need to trek them. This is gonna suck. We have to trek them all the way through that mountain range. That's gonna suck. But here at least, they're all safe. For now. So. That'll be a tag team situation. I might do it uh, Rex's first and then come back for the RGs unless I got my wife's character helping. So I'm going to hop off this one because that's a long haul. It's going to be slow. It's going to take forever. We're going to hop on Ragnarok. I got to feed these dragons. There's just so many dragons. I got to get some food for them. So we're going to have to see if there's anything we can feed them. Because I'm running out of stuff. I done cleaned out the whole island. <laughs> Unless I want to go all the way over to the desert and eat stupid scorpions, there isn't really a whole lot of life left around the map. Uh, that's up to her. If she wants to hop in, she can. Try to have to pressure her a lot. Say, well, we need you. <laughs> Eventually what'll happen is once I can get um, partnered on here or whatever so that I can get some uh, subscriber count going Then I will change up and start doing some rigging a little different figure out how I can get the PlayStation to play through or maybe get arc on the computer and Get a controller because I won't play arc on keyboard. I do not like playing keyboard for video games. I did it back in the day when I played Quake and stuff, but I don't like playing games like this um, with keyboard. It's not the same experience for me. I prefer the analog sticks. But as you can see, we have a wide selection of dragons. And this is, the whole place is full. I'm running out of room here. I got screwed over here because these dumb dragons uh wouldn't get the heck out of here. So I didn't get back in enough time and they grew too big, but that's fine. So here's my dragons that I've been working on. I've isolated all the mutations. 
we're good to go on the mutations. I can grab any of the dragons that are carrying a mutation, and, uh, I mean, we're good. I mean, I've got dragons packed in this sucker, as many as I can get. I actually, I actually moved dragons up here as well, so I sorted these out. Um, I've got the white dragons, the ice ones here. I'm missing the purple one. And I got these ones here with all the mutations possible for these. This is literally all the mutations for the blue dragons. Besides the white one. So, yeah. Yeah, and I've been working on it. Because I'm using my knowledge base of the game mechanics. Because again, this is not modded and this is solo play. Um, to isolate the bloodlines and specifically breed them so that I can get more mutations. Now all my RGs, they're all up here on this. I mean, they're all over the place. But this is literally the best location on Ragnarok to the build a base. The only ones that aren't mutated are the white ones. Because we need to find different locations of those eggs. Yeah. Instead of the one place that we kept getting them. In. Right, right, right. So, yeah, on yours, if they say you have too many, tell them, no, you don't. <laughs> when, my, when I hit breed, if I hit breed and just hit the button, I, I will have probably... Over 200 eggs. 200 eggs. And that'd be an understatement. The dragons that were here were all the white and blue ones on this little ramp here. But I had packed this thing full. I actually had moved the dragons to a different location... Uh, because see how this dragon is white? See, I've bred it down to where I can get a red dragon that's white. These are all red dragons down here. There are no other dragons except for I have one blue one down here and one green one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, these dragons, if I whistle right now, the game might, might crash. Yeah, it sucks. Like I said, I got three over there that are hungry right now. Where's the green dragons at? The green dragons are um, on that little island inside there. I'll show you. Oh, okay. I'll show you. I got Argies up here that we've been breeding too, but yeah. I moved the green dragons down here. I actually yeah. built a little bridge right here, and I put the green dragons on here. Yeah. And these aren't all the green dragons. These are just the ones with the bloodlines. I kept one of each of the bloodlines. So the green dragons are there with the bloodlines too. I'm missing one bloodline, and it's black. I don't have that. I'll find it. But we'll take Andromeda for a little run here. You can see all the RGs. And I got some cool mutations on some of the RGs too from the last breed. But I built a... I'll show you this way. I built a little hatchery uh, for hatching RGs. Because RGs need a particular climate. Otherwise it's a pain. Just like the Rexes, they need a particular climate. They got the Goldilocks scenario. In my little travels, I found this cave right here. Okay? Not far from my base, because that is literally the best base on Ragnarok. Because no matter what storm is happening outside, and there's a lot of radiation storms and stuff. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm starting to max out, I'm sure, the game. It takes... It, that area right there is rough. But I found this little area here. Okay? This cave in here is where I'm going to take the uh, green dragons. I'm going to put the green dragons inside this cave here and breed them in here because the climate is the pristine one and I will get a mutation. I'm looking for one mutation for the green and hopefully I get the one I want. But from there, you know Viking Bay, my favorite spot. Not my favorite, but my base is up at the highest waterfall. That's where I built it is inside there because of its shielding capability because of the radiation storms. But I built RG Hatchery right here. So when I need to hatch RGs, I just bring them up here, and I have some RGs in here. You'll see in a second. There's a little baby. Now this is the other Arge, Rosie here. She looks like a Barbie. Pink feet, pink everything. And I accidentally bred her with a different Arge and screwed up the mutation, so now I can't get rid of the pink feet on all the Argies for that bloodline, <laughs> so it really pissed me off. Because the Argy that I bred it with was the best Arge ever, and now they're all pink feet. So I was like, are you joking me right now? Even if I breed it with a different thing, still pink feet. 
So, but little freckle here. Gucci boots. If I pull him up out of the ground and he has pink feet, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> I might actually just toss him off the thing. Let's find out. You didn't breed him with him. Okay, good. He's got good feet. I like it already. All right. <laughs> cool. Good. He's fine. Regular feet. I'm happy. All right. Andromeda. Let's go. I'm going to get this drop. There's like a million raptors over here, but that's all right. Yeah, yeah. The pinky. Specifically... The pink RNG. I would think that pink would have went to the feathers, but I didn't realize that I would the have, feet were the That would have been fine too. Nice. We got an OP <laughs> helmet and we got a bigger, I guess. Alright. To the meat grinder. I set up a mob farm, I guess you could call it. So here's Viking Bay. Castle's over here. I walled off the door on the castle. Red and brown, yeah. I like the orange ones, uh, the orange feet. Those are actually pretty good. Yeah, exactly, I would for sure. Because <laughs> that was a lot of work to get that one to hatch too. You didn't it? mate Rosie. Though. I didn't mate Rosie, yeah. I'm, I've, I have the coolest looking RG, and the coolest looking RG back there has pink feet because of Rosie. I was trying to get Rosie's pink color to blend with the other color of the Arge that I had for a reason because I wanted it to blend the bloodlines to change the color pattern on it. It was going to be awesome. So the castle here, I walled off the door with dinosaur gates so the stuff inside can't come out. So all I do is just fly around with my dragon and breathe fire inside the castle. Every once in a while I'll get a couple bats like these idiots out here that'll come around, but other than that it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So this place here, piece of cake, right? No problem. And I just fly around, breathe fire, level up, land. And they'll come out here and try to kill us. It's no question. I'm just keeping an eye on our health. Spider came out the door. More spiders coming out. I'm just keeping an eye on her health. I'm just here for me. It's the only reason why I came here. I got dragons to feed. And I just wait. Relax. Stamina will come back up. Because I got the double fist bump up there. So me and Andromeda, we're good to go. I was going to bring red, but red doesn't fly the same way as Andromeda does. Yeah, you better go back inside. I'm just here only for me. Okay, back to base. So, well, we'll take a detour for a second. The meat will still be fine. So I built a base over this way, and, and I actually might go inside the cave system there. I think I have enough torches. I might go in the cave system. Taking Andromeda in there is a little risky. I'd probably take a different dragon, but I might make it in there with her. Um, she's kind of big. I should take a smaller dragon. But uh, I want to get the artifact in the cave one more time. At least a couple more times. Probably twice. Because you can keep going back and getting the same artifact. It'll just keep respawning in there. And the reason why is I use it to light up my base. Because it's an endless light source. So, got a little dookie shack right there. My standard base build. Um, but yeah, from Viking Bay, you just follow the coastline right down and go into the dragon place. There's right where you see the beach where it gets sandy up over there to the left. 
goes from dark sand, the lava overflow, the, the high carbon, all the way to where it just finally starts lightening up. That's where you need to go. And there's a secret entrance over there behind the pylons. So you'll be able to get into the cave. You can take an Argin there. Fly right in, grab some eggs, and fly back out. Dragons can't fit through it. I can fit through it because I know how to fly a dragon, but an untrained dragon I ain't going to be able to get through there. He's going to hang up in the lava. But I built a base over here by the springs. There's the hot springs down there that reheal you back up. I built a base across this little volcanic bridge here, over here. And I had all the dragons out here in the in the sunlight. Um, that way I could take and uh, see them really well. Because full sun out here. So I isolated all the bloodlines, sorted them out, and did some breeding with them and stuff. And got them all situated, so it worked out pretty good. Brother used to live there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a cool spot. So I put my, my base up here. This one here isn't too bad. Yeah. It's kind of like Minecraft for me. I don't ever kill the Ender Dragon, I'll just tell you. I just don't. So here's my little base on here. I called this Dragon Mountain. I had this all set up. And I was doing my runs and bringing the dragons back here and hatching. Yeah, when I play uh, Minecraft, I don't bother going into the nether to kill the Ender Dragon. I just keep going around the map, building cool stuff, and taking over. I like playing all the other mechanics of the game itself. Besides having to do just going after the artifacts. I mean, I do go after the artifacts. I definitely do. But I don't do it because I'm trying to like beat the game or anything like that. I just want to keep playing it. You know, I, th I think it's fun to play the game. And look at all that meat. Oh, I gotta drop these too. Get that off there. Get that off. I'll take the arrows. So like Andromeda, as an example, she's level 244. She has 12,000 health. 12,000. My Rexes back at the base have 30,000 health. And this is in solo mode. This isn't PvP. So getting those numbers is it takes some time. She got 1,400 stamina, which is about as much as an Arch can get in a couple clicks. It took forever to get her up that high. But dragons use stamina for the breath attacks, so you got to have stamina. And oxygen. It's got to be over 500 for a decent breath attack, so you get a good duration of the breath attack. You don't have good oxygen, breath attack's going to be a little short-winded, you know? Food, not really too worried about. Weight, I like to get to around a thousand for the dragons, right around there. Um, but it doesn't have to. I mean, I'm not typically using them as cargo carriers. They're usually just carrying meat. You know, but a rare occasion I might eat them to do some stuff. Melee, though, I like to get it over 500. So once you get to 500, you're good. They're a combat ready dragon, and then you just keep leveling up. Um, imprinting and solo play. The only way you get Wyvern's Milk is by killing the Alpha. There's no other way. And you have to go to the Crystal Caves to do it. So if you go to the Crystal Cave, and you kill every dragon in there. And I know how to do it without ever dying. So you can kill every dragon inside there. Kill the, kill the Alpha. Get the Wyvern Milk. It has a very short duration. And that doesn't give you a whole lot. You drink the Wyvern Milk. You get super OP. You're powerful. Take off. Give it to your dragon, it still doesn't move it all the way up. It's not like PvP. I wish it was like PvP, but a dragon only requires 11%. That's all it needs. Once you have 11%, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about anything else. Now, as you do things with it, you're gradually going to get 1% here, 1% there, whatever. But 11% imprint, as long as it's 1% over 10 the dragon is 100% good to go. If I got attacked and I wasn't even aggroed to, to the dragon in any way, wasn't tied to it, the dragon would still protect me. If I'm flying like this, I can stand on top of the dragon. What does she do? She just proceeds to land. I don't fall off, doesn't rear me, doesn't kick me, nothing. I can hop on the dragon, I can command her to do all kinds of good flying, and the more I fly her, the better she gets. 
the more things I do. Now Andromeda is not really a combat dragon, she's more of a breeding dragon, but I do have her set fairly decent for some maneuvers like this. I mean, she can fly well, she maneuvers well, she lands well. It's not excellent, but it is well, it's pretty good. But I didn't spend that much time with her. Now if I continue to fly with her like Red, he's a mass vast dragon. He's big. Compared to the other dragons, he's big. But his flight capability is excellent. I mean, he's just, he's OP crazy good. So, of the entire map, here's a couple of RGs. Ooh, let's take a look at this one up here. What do we got? That's not quite the color pattern I'm looking for. Neither are those two. I'm kind of looking for one that's a little more red. I definitely don't want... That's just standard, standard colors. Um, but, anyways, on this map, I've explored the entire map. Every square inch of it. Every location. Um, like I said, this is the seventh time of playing through this map. On the map, I have quite a few things marked, obviously. You know, I spent a lot of time. So, there are locations that I would like to put things, but you are limited in solo play to the number of structures that you can build. It's not like PvP, where it's unlimited. So, I have to be very selective. So, of all the different times, I've built bases in different locations so that I can try it out. So, that's why my bases have that unique design, because that is basically the capability to build enough bases, functional bases, across the map in better locations, right? So, you have to keep going back to the same one all the time. But it has to be functional. I mean, you're in the middle of nowhere. You need a base that's actually going to work. If the base doesn't work for you, then you're screwed, you know? So I can build more of them, functional bases, but they still look good and they still function good. Flying like right into the sun. Um, like in this valley here, you know, I want to build a base on this rock between these two waterfalls and then build a bridge across the waterfalls. Will I end up doing that on this map? It's very possible because I have enough structures left to do it. I only walled off the castle because I wanted to be able to mob grind it and get the meat. So when I want to level up a dragon, once I get the dragon flight ready, I take it over there and level it up. It takes a few seconds to gain like 20 or 30 levels because that castle has things that are 500 levels. Not your typical 120 level uh, cap for things you find inside the map. So they're like three times as high max level cap as anything inside this entire map. One of the unique features of Ragnarok. So besides that, there are other locations on here that are good. You can do some decent stuff, you can fly around and do some really cool things. But I don't like to wipe the map clean. I like to steward the map so that it can do things that I predict it to do. Like if I clean out this entire forest, I would leave specific trees in here so that it would spawn back in. It would, it would gradually replenish it over time. Because like I said, I got a lot of hours on this reset alone. You know, just like the other ones. Not quite 4,000 hours on this reset. But it's getting close. It's cranking up there. You know, like even this location, I had a base in this location here because I had migrated from Viking Bay because I was helping Connor down there and then I migrated up here and was building my base from here and I thought, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and finish my base in here. And I still didn't completely finish it, but it's definitely more complete, obviously. I mean, I'm really utilizing it. It's more complete than it was because of the structure. I mean, it's good. It's what I want. I need to get one, two, 
three more artifacts of this right here. I know where it is, I know exactly where to go to get it. It's just I gotta wait for it to spawn in and then I can go in there, you know? Leaving these dragons really screwed me over. I should have came back and got these, but... And these all have wood in it too, which sucks. But... I can't get these dragons out of here. Because they're stuck in the game, basically. trying to get him to fly out of this. And actually, I might be able to level him. Come on, dragon. Wait. There we go. Now, now we look at Still can't. That's all right. On this dragon now. Let's see if I can wiggle him free here. Just trying to bust them out of these stupid things, but I know that the flight capability with me, I weigh too much. Come on, dragon. Punch it. I might end up having to use the Rex and bump them out. It's possible. Didn't want to have to, but I might have to. Come on, Rex. Sneak around. This one. Try to get this one. Try to get this other one. Come on, rotate. Sucks that this thing's stuck. Any luck? The game's glitching hard. It's glitching hard. How we do? Didn't get one up. Darn. I can't smash these storage boxes down there, which is annoying too. Hop on the griffin.
Just gotta figure out what's hanging them up. This is what I gotta do. Sucks. Yeah, the, it, the griffin's okay. I mean, it's alright. The cool part about the griffin... I mean, the griffin's cool. I mean, it looks cool and, and stuff. I'm sure it does fine. It flies okay. It's not horrible. You know, it's not like RG or anything else like that. There's only one feature about the griffin that I like, and this is it. See how fast you can get down to where you need to go? I mean, it will punch it. I mean, it's like, zoom. It's like, you're on it, so. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for the raid. Getting raided again. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, everybody. Appreciate it. Playing a little arc. Little late night arc. <laughs> yeah. Zoe hitting us again with another. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, Zoe popped on a little earlier. He's hopped on and then raided me, I, I guess he said. And then we've been kind of chilling on here, going through the maps, chit chatting and kind of hanging out. Yeah, I remember seeing everybody. I can always tell because, you know, like, he's kind of got everybody nabbed with that DC thing on the front there. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah, we went and got some meat for the baby dragons, and we're trying to get the baby dragons, but they're uh, stuck on the stupid hatchery thing. Not that I don't have enough dragons here already. I've got enough. But... Yeah, we're gonna try and uh, see if we can. We're gonna do a little run with uh, Red and go see if the other artifact is inside the cave system. I'm just gonna grab it if it's in there. It doesn't take too long for that run. It goes pretty quick. Then I'll have another one to add to the list. They look like this. The ones that I'm after. I'm gonna go see if I can snag the other one. It's pretty straightforward in the cave where you gotta go. I figured out a way to get into it. Um, I can take the dragon inside there, so... It goes fairly quickly. I just need to make some torches. And then we're out of here, so... It's like right over there by Viking Bay. I can squeeze the dragon in through the opening, so. Yeah, I appreciate all the all the love, but it helps it out a lot. And I'll probably do some streaming a little more regularly again here. I had a little bit of a span where I couldn't do much because the school stuff started, so. Had to get it all situated in that, so. But appreciate it. Raids help. Subscribers, followers, all that stuff help. I'm gonna try to get uh, unlocked and stuff, you know, so that I can get some actual subscribers into the channel, and that'll help. Uh, I can shift away my workload from my normal workload and focus more on doing some streams and stuff like that. So, gotta do the work stuff too, you know, gotta pay the bills a little bit. But if I can get. Um, partner or whatever through Twitch, then that'll change things around a little. Sneak this little dragon in this cave here. Come on, dragon. It's loading it. They, hopefully it doesn't glitch. Error occurred. Of course it didn't. Now how far back is it going to glitch me? <laughs> 